What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another Monday episode. Hope you're all having a great day today. I see you all flooding in the chat. And uh, we're five minutes late here, but let's get started. So we have some stuff regarding Tales of the Jedi, which comes out, I believe, what is it, next week? Yeah. So believe it or not, this this trailer it seems like it has more hype than Andor itself. Because it I think it had like four and a half million views or something like that. But anyways, I think it's going to be a really great show. We have some information regarding, I think, the, the episode titles. And this is coming from like a press kit document kind of thing that was leaked or revealed. I don't really know. It's coming from Reddit Star Wars leaks. So anyways, let's go ahead and read it. Tales of the Jedi episode titles and directors have been revealed just days ahead of the series premiere, courtesy of a press kit document found and shared on our Star Wars leaks. We have learned a bit more about the upcoming animated anthology series. The animated series is the brainchild of Dave Filoni, who serves as executive producer and supervising director across all six shorts. So that's good. He's at least in charge of the whole thing. It seems like anything kind of animated is all Dave Filoni, and that's great. I kind of wish everything live action would be John Favreau and Dave Filoni, but I don't know. It seems like a lot of people are liking Andor so far, which is good. I just wish it would pick up a little bit. Three episodes focus on Ahsoka Tano, and the other three are about a young Count Dooku. Filoni wrote five or six, five of six, five of the six episodes, and Charles Murray and Elaine Ellen Murray penned the remaining one. Directing duties reside with Daniel Villanueva, Charles Murray, and Saul Ruiz. What's going on, Josh? What up, brother? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, man. Good. Are we are we live right now? We're live. Yeah. Oh shit! You just went in, huh? Yeah, I just went in. I didn't, I didn't even get to show you my cool hat. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. One of my buddies is also Canadian, and uh, he sent me one. He sent me a bunch of stuff, too, actually, like Canadian shirts and a bunch of Canadian things. So I figured I'd wear the Canadian uh, hat for you, man. Yeah, it looks good. I love it. Thank you. What do you what, so you're getting into the news right now? Are you talking about the... Right now. Yeah, the... Uh... The episodes that have been sort of revealed or leaked or whatever it is, these episode names that we have, and these aren't in order at all, but we can kind of theorize on what we're getting. Yeah. Just on the names themselves. And it seems like they're all directed by Dave Filoni, except for the last one. Mm, so that's okay. interesting. I wonder if that's like a sort of Count Dooku episode, or if that's, I doubt it would be Ahsoka, because I feel like everything to do with Ahsoka is touched by Dave. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's probably oh. Dooku. I from what I heard, they're gonna bounce back and forth between like uh one episode will be Ahsoka, one episode will be Dooku. Yeah. Um so Which is interesting, what would that I don't do know then? how that would like even connect. You know, they're they're not really re related characters at all. Yeah. Well, so let me pull this thing up. I think I think there might be a logic to it. I think it might actually uh come together. Like telling two sides of like a similar kind of thing here. Did you go over the episode lengths at all? No, that doesn't seem to be listed. Okay, let me find a few things here real quick. Okay, so I got the lengths pulled up. Um, so the first okay. episode, and these aren't in order at all. Life and death. Then we got justice. Then we got Sith, the Sith Lord. And then we got yeah. practice makes perfect. Coda. And then choices. I think choices mm. has to be a Dooku episode because I think that's yeah. probably him making a decision to, or well, it could be Ahsoka too. I don't really know. I wish I could find it. There was somebody that said, like somebody said the order of it or basically like what it does because it bounces kind of back and forth between. I'm pretty sure. So like what is Reddit? it? Six episode? Yeah. Yeah, six episodes. Six episodes? Yeah. So three each. Yeah. You got to assume, well, what's the first one called? Life and death. I would assume that's. But it's not an order. Oh, it's not in order? No, it's just... Okay. Apparently. Let's see here. Yeah, it might be. Okay, so yeah. I've got a couple, like, kind of early reviews um, pulled up that some people have kind of said that got the episodes. Um, so I could go over that if you want, and then also uh, got I can get to the lengths, too. But uh, I don't know if you want to just kind of go through the rest of this. What's this one on? What's this article? This is just the names and who it's directed by. Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, it's Star Wars Newsnet. Okay, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, let's see here. Okay, so I've got the run times pulled up here, and it says that the first episode is 17 minutes. Uh, the second episode is 14 minutes. The third episode is 13 minutes. The fourth episode is 15. Episode five is only 10 minutes long, and episode six is 14 minutes. Such bullshit, man. Yeah, that's a little rough. Um, I'm I'm actually not like super upset about any of them except maybe the ten minute one. That's a little weird because I assume it'll still have credits. Well, no, you, you, yeah, you gotta factor in the intro is like yeah. a minute. I and mean, if you measure the and or intro, it's like you got the whatever the um, it's showing what happened in the last step, the recap, and then you have the actual intro itself. You're like three minutes in by the time you're done. Yeah, and then you've got like the oh, silver faces, the the with the yeah. lights and everything. Yeah, yeah, and th yeah, that takes forever. And then mm -hmm. the credits are like a good eight minutes long. Now, especially well, yeah, on an animated project, I know, dude. They can't be eight minutes. Like that's there, there's literally no episode five, right? So it's got to be. Yeah. Uh, it's so got to be. Just yeah, take like four or five minutes off of each of these episodes. So that ten minute episode is probably like six seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Unless so that's like that one's gonna be pretty short for sure. Yeah. Now it could still be satisfying, you know. And I oh, do no think doubt. that, the, you know, no the doubt. fact that it's all gonna drop at once, I think is is great because otherwise this would be absurd, right? But um, yeah, yeah I mean that's kind of what they did with visions, anyways. You know, they had a bunch of shorties, but mm. those were I think a little bit all over the place as far as quality. I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and say I, I assume these will all be of higher quality and kind of consistent. Probably, yeah. I mean, they look pretty good. So. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to read some reviews? People have seen it? Yeah, yeah. people have seen it, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, go Okay, so it. this guy right here, who I actually don't even know who this guy is, Rob Sauce, Rob Sauce or Weenix? Let me see, who is this freaking guy? Oh, he's just like a... Yeah, okay, he's just... He says, Tales of the Jedi is going to be a hit. The show crafts two beautiful character-driven stories over long periods of time, and it just works. The dual stories of Ahsoka and Dooku blend well and give you two perspectives of the Jedi Order alongside what it means to be one. Dooku's story was a blessing in disguise, didn't know what to expect, but they sure knew what to give the fans. The three episodes give you context for a lot of events in the films, which is always something that Dave does good. Uh, and a deeper look into the motives and psyche of Dooku. And here comes the Ahsoka splurge, my favorite character in the history of Star Wars. And seeing her past was beautiful. If anyone loves the character as much as I do, you will not be disappointed. Giving much needed looks at events that tie into others regarding Ahsoka. I shed a tear once or twice. Episodes one, four, five, and six are his favorite. Uh, and enjoy the show. Filoni killed it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sick. Uh, Harloff said that uh, episodes one and two feels like Clone Wars episodes. Episode four is the best animated episodes or one of the best animated episodes of Star Wars ever, in his opinion. Uh, thinks it was really good. Animation, animation, music, good. So that's always good to hear. People are saying it's definitely must watch. I mean, people are pretty hyped on it, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, it's anything made by Dave animation wise is always great. I haven't seen one animation movie or show that sucked Star Wars wise. Yeah. So the movies are another story, but um, I think, you know, these animated series are always great. I just kind of unfortunate that they're so short. Yeah. Like with the credits and everything, they're all going to be probably around 10 minutes long. I mean, yeah. it's great that we're getting it. So maybe like an hour worth, but damn. You know, you could each have made these like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just like Clone Wars episodes. But mm -hmm. I don't know. It just seems like they're putting a lot of budget into like other stuff. Yeah, so. it's kind of weird, right? Like, I, I guess, you know, when it comes to just Disney Plus in general, I think a lot of the studios are kind of trying to find what works, what's the best for what story. You know what I mean? And like, you know, even Marvel right now is kind of shifting things around and like, Maybe oh changing God. some shows to movies, maybe you know, doing some special features instead of actual shows, yeah, which I think is would be good. What's up? Did you, did you see the She Hulk finale? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> what the F? Yeah. I mean, I, I skipped from episode two to the finale and I just literally skimmed through the that's, finale. Dude, that's like, crazy because episode two is my favorite episode. Yeah, I watched episode one and two, 
Mm. And then I skipped all the way to the finale because I was just like, <laughs> I heard Hulk was coming back, like actual yeah. Hulk. Yeah. And so I was like waiting to see him. And then I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. It was, it was pretty bad. But I think, um, yeah, they're just, I think there's a lot of experimenting. Like, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this because, look, Disney Plus is obviously a big asset for them and it, you know, it makes them a ton of money. And there are shows I really like. I like Mando. Um, you know, I like Loki, but, you know, by and large, there's a lot of Disney Plus shows I really don't like. And mm -hmm. I'm like, it's like they don't, they, they don't have, they don't have it figured out, man. You know what I mean? Like, especially when you compare it to shows like House of the Dragon, which I think is just like, it's ridiculous right and crazy good television you know they're they're not really nailing it so i wonder with this like what was the the strategy here because i i hope it was like the it was done for a reason i hope it just wasn't like well dave doesn't have that much time so let's you know make him really short or whatever because that would feel bad yeah so maybe he felt like instead of thinking of it as like short by short maybe he thought of it as like this layered two-part story that juxtaposes like dooku um against ahsoka and you know maybe that's what it is and maybe it'll feel good as like a binge right. um which would yeah. be an interesting strategy because you know again like a lot of this stuff it doesn't even create a really pleasant experience when you're watching it so like if this thing really draws you in and the breakups kind of allow you to go back and forth in a nice way like i don't know i could see it I could see it uh, actually being maybe one of the best things they've done. Um, yeah. Just kind of depends. On the outside looking in, though, that 10-minute episode's like, what? Yeah. Well, I'm just thankful we're getting something, you know, animated Dave Filoni. So that's yeah. great. This would be nice to get a little more. But um, I want more. Yeah. Anyways, um, have you watched Andor at all? Uh, I am a little behind on Andor. I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't watched the last two episodes. What are we on episode six now? Or yeah, like episode six. Tomorrow? Now I've heard a lot about episode six. Like people were pretty hyped up on it, and I'm definitely gonna at least check out episode six. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I uh, <laughs> I'm not just I, I don't know. I can't really like bring myself um, to do it. You know, like I checked in after episode five. I checked with some people like just to see, and uh, kind of just more of the same. So I was like, okay. Some people have recommended to me that I just wait and binge it, and that I might enjoy it more um you know like that i don't know what do you think about that i liked last week's episode it was actually interesting it was actually fun um mm -hmm. if you take away the aspect that this is supposed to be like about anakin or about vader or about luke or anything like that then the show in itself is just a show about this time in star wars but i think the curse perhaps that star wars has is that it's because it's been the first six films for like 40 years um People are so kind of focused on that hype, you know, like I can't remember the last time, like I guess it was episode nine that, um, you know, a Star Wars movie begins and we have the the crawl, you know, yeah. the John Williams mm -hmm. theme. It's like that was so exciting and it just seems like now it's, ah, it's just different, you know. So yeah. I personally think Disney is shitting the bed with Star Wars yeah. and I'm getting to the point where like it's just, yeah. But I'm hopeful that things will turn around. I'm hopeful things will get better. I have a lot of confidence in Dave Filoni. And as far as Andor goes, I'm liking the show so far. I think it's yeah. pretty good. I think it's, I think it's, there are definitely some episodes that are sleepers and boring as hell. Um, but I think once it comes to the climactic parts, you kind of gloss over those and you're like, okay, well, you know what? This is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough, man. I mean, like, look, I know a lot of people like the show. I, dude, I hear about it on Twitter. Like, so, you know, you and I have talked a little bit over the last couple of weeks, but like, you know, ever since I kind of stepped away, right? Um, the Twitter, it's crazy. Like, I don't really engage, but like, occasionally I'll say a few things uh, about it. And the, the tweet, I'll tell you this the tweets perform incredibly well. Uh, but I think a lot of it is because people are like, you know, either really upset with me or they really don't understand where I'm coming from because I will admit that it's kind of weird that Andor is arguably the best Star Wars show we've had in some time. And I totally acknowledge that, right? Um, and so it's weird for me to like check out when it's one of the, well, I think it's better. It's way better than Kenobi. Just, I don't think it's, it doesn't, it's not Star Wars. 
doesn't that's feel my like problem Star Wars. with it yeah it but as far as like cuts lighting acting performance like dude nobody's hiding under trench coats yeah, nobody's yeah. hitting palm strikes nobody's dragging yeah. someone to a computer terminal three feet away and beating them up nobody's riding Absolutely. around on vespas so like i get it you know what i mean i get why some star wars fans are really excited about it and they like it a lot um but yeah for me man it's it's I think it's kind of like the most recent thing in a line of things that really bother me about Lucasfilm and Star Wars overall. Um, and I and I just I I don't think it feels like Star Wars. Um, and it's certainly not drawing people in um anywhere near what these other shows were. And some of the data is actually starting to come out, some of the numbers on this, and like you look at some of these charts, um, and it's like crazy you don't need to look how, at charts you just look at the star wars youtube community man. just well yeah 100 percent, man uh, you know in general people have uh, checked the f out yeah it's tough bro you know nobody what I mean? I was cares just... about star wars right now it's it's yeah. like yeah and you gotta right. think like, all these people that are saying it's such a great show the show itself is great but is it a great star wars show yeah i don't think and so not I, really no yeah i mean what, i actually like, i think it's actually hurting the brand which some people like you know again like i totally understand it i get where everybody gets fired up and everybody's like ah, or you know josh how dare you but like <clears throat> here's the thing um if you're star wars okay if you're lucasfilm and you go out and you get tony effing gilroy right like big deal right mm -hmm. um and you spend whatever you spend on this show it looks incredible so i'm assuming they spend a lot on it right yeah, they spent more than Kenobi and Boba and all that stuff. They got to. It had to. Yeah. Have yeah. to be. Um, and you're putting all your, uh, you know, your your advertising, you're kind of hanging your hat on this. This is the latest Star Wars thing. And you look at how this thing's performing. Yeah. I mean, that's devastating, dude. Like, there has to be, there, because they're probably getting a lot of this data as well. They might even be a little bit ahead of us with some of this data. So they're probably looking at this, and I'm sure they don't even understand what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and much like uh, Solo, they misinterpreted, I think, what happened with Solo. They didn't understand The Last Jedi Backlash and like where they were at with the fan base. By having Andor be the Star Wars thing right now, because that's what it is. It is the Star Wars thing. It's the thing everybody should be gathering around. It's the you know appointment you know thing for yeah. the Star Wars brand. And to have it be underperforming to this degree is like bad you know what i mean it just it just looks bad dude it, it looks bad so i can pull up um yeah i can pull up something i'll show you this it's pretty wild so hollywood trade reporter um Parker, let's see, yeah, yeah yeah he works at the rap here i'll share this i shall share this this is a absolutely shocking chart to look at okay so this well, is the pointing trend i've come across recently is how audience demand for andor is overwhelmingly lower than the mandalorian season one and two the book of boba fett and obi-wan despite the fact that it is easily the best star wars series by far okay what do we got here uh so you got mando season two mando okay. season one that's your purple and your red there okay yeah um and so you'll notice like season two kind of pop in into it and just pops more season mm -hmm. one we were like okay whatever and then when it launches it kind of skyrockets or whatever right right um then you got book of boba fett which follows a very similar trajectory line to kenobi okay which yeah i think is worth noting is lower than both mando seasons okay yes it is yeah for sure. um but then all the way down here you have the almost unbelievably <laughs> abysmal line yeah for andor like it's yeah. like and this is like look for brandon to be talking about this on twitter to be finding this and sharing this data being within the hollywood system damn wow like this is bananas it's insane right? yeah it's really really Where, bad where's this graph from like what's the validity this is patriot analytics so it's an analytics company now disney is probably ahead of this data they probably have either either they work with a different analytics company or they're getting their own data via you know disney plus shit that they'll we'll never see right that they'll just look over yeah, yeah. but they probably like are aware of this you know already 
Um, but it is just, and like you said, you don't even have to look at data like this. When I think when you look at this, it, it becomes very obvious and you're like, whoa. Um, but like you said, even just from, you know, Twitter, from YouTube, you know, views and just looking at it, it's like, this is rough, brother. You know what I mean? Oh, and um, yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. So the question then is, because if I were Lucasfilm, I'd be panicking right now. To be fair, they have Tales of the Jedi. They've got the Dave Filoni and the John stuff. And in some weird way here, in my opinion, this could actually be good for Star Wars in the long run because Lucasfilm has to. I mean, like, yeah, they're hungry I don't have people a lot of faith. What's up? They're hungry oh, for it. People for want the John stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So they should be able to know. And maybe after next year, when you get like just really good performances by Mando three and by Ahsoka. I mean, it's possible, man, that they're like, bro, just, you know, lean into that, like give them more of that. Um, because again, with all due respect to the people that are enjoying and, or you are a small amount of people and the vast majority of the fan base is for whatever reason, less than interested in what is going on in this show. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So it's just it's Absolutely. just one of those things that you know, I think we got to kind of think about. You, know? you even look at breakdowns. So my breakdowns used to get a million views when it was you know any any other show, Boba, right. Mando, Obi Wan. Dude, the breakdowns for this show, two hundred thousand views. Yeah. And I, and and people like just don't seem. And I I observe some of the other channels that cover Marvel and cover uh, Star Wars. They cover like a smorgasbord of everything that's popular in pop culture and whatever and i see like sometimes they'll release a marvel video before and after their star wars breakdowns freaking 500 600 700 000 views and in between those crazy amount of views their and or breakdowns 70 80 000 Dude. views 90 it's 000 weird views. yeah it's weird um and unfortunately i think this is actually a culmination of different problems uh, but I think that there, it, it, there's obviously a way out of it, right? Oh, yeah. But like we have to have faith, and this is where it gets tricky. It's like we have to have faith that Kathy and people there are going to look at this and make the right decision. And historically, that's just oh. not what happens over there. You know what I mean? So uh, again, I'd like to believe that there's a way forward, and they lean into Dave and John, and it's all good. But like, bro, right now, like, I'm just, it, and you know. I feel a little bit like a canary in the coal mine with this because like I said, like Andor's not even like a functionally bad show, no. but it's like after, after Boba, after Kenobi, and then getting this, which uh, to me, the reason that I can't get into this show is because it just feels like a corporate throw this at the wall and see what sticks, like get Tony Gilroy. who doesn't even like star Wars to do yeah. arguably a very good functionally yeah. shot show that just yeah. isn't star wars and i'm like bro like what are you guys doing yeah um i agree so yeah, it's it's a it's a weird kind of i agree frustrating I, time i am this close dude to just making a video and being like i'm not covering disney star wars stuff anymore i'll cover the mando i'll cover the animated yeah. stuff that comes out but i'm done with everything else i'm gonna go back to covering the prequels and the original trilogy yeah and the clone wars i'm yeah i'm done with this crap i'm not doing it anymore you know, I'm, yeah, I'm so freaking close to doing that. I just, I'm just waiting. I'm, I hope they're going to turn things around and make it more centric to what George had created, and stop with all of this shit. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm I, I, set up. At this point, like even Andor, right? Like if Andor, even if it gets like much better, I, I almost don't think it matters. Like I can't see a scenario at least from the business perspective for the fans. Hell yeah. I hope it's dope and I hope people love it. But like from the business perspective for the brand, like how can this level of interest be increased? I don't think it can. Like that's what's crazy. And um, I actually started and, and, to notice this a couple yeah. of minutes or a couple of months before the show came out. Cause dude, I was trying, I would do preview videos. I was actually hyped on the show going into it. Right. I was like, dude, this is going to be crazy. Tony Gilroy, like dude, Michael Clayton, are you kidding me? Like this dude's incredible. Right. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and then I just got so turned off by what to me felt like 
you know, not really being Star Wars. And I was just like, dude, Disney, like, what are you guys doing? Um, so, yeah, it's I think it's it's like a challenging time for the fan base. I've found it challenging to engage in the fan base because like you'll get a lot of people like, dude, like some of these tweets I have are like getting like ridiculous numbers of impressions and like starting to get to the point where like a bunch of blue checks are like chiming in and like there's all these like conversations going on. And I'm like, I'm like sitting back and people are just so rude with the way that they defend the show and also try to belittle people that are not engaged in the show. Like, it's so crazy to me that you have a, a, a fairly reasonable amount of people on Twitter that are like literally saying, this show's incredible. Star Wars fans are just idiots and just want flashy stuff in front of their face. Yeah. Well, that's, that's like, that's, that's like great, where we're at. You that's know a what great I mean? way to uh, get your argument across. Right. Just, exactly. Just like, hey, if you don't like what I like, you're a dumb dumb. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Exactly. Exactly. Very, yeah. Very intelligent. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I see that tough. comment sometimes too. It's, it's, it's a new thing, right? So before it's like, oh, Star Wars fans are toxic if they don't like what I like. Now it's, Star Wars fans just want fan service. Star Wars fans just want Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker swinging the lightsaber. It's like, where did any Star Wars fan ever say that that's all they want? Right. Show me. Please show me, and I will agree with you. And I'll shut yeah. my mouth. That is not what people want. That's maybe what your stupid little mind may come up with and try to mm -hmm. rationalize, or but that's not what it is. People want story. They want what Star Wars was built on, which is the first six films, and then the Clone Wars. And yes, it was about Anakin. Yes, it was about Luke. But it had so many other fundamental cogs in that freaking machine that were working. The yeah. Jedi, Padme, Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca. There were so many different, the droids. There's so many different pieces to the puzzle that make Star Wars what it is. And I feel like Disney is at this point where they're just in a lab and they're experimenting. Hmm, what's going to work? What's going to make us more money? It's like, because they don't know. Mm -hmm. they don't they aren't yeah. george they don't know they don't have the magic that he had they don't have the idea or the general plan or outline that he had for star wars and they're just kind of making it up as they go and seeing what works as you said throwing it to the wall seeing what sticks yeah and they're shitting the bed they, Dude, are, they have lost yeah. so many star wars fans and they are creating so many new star wars fans who in my opinion are just kind of there for like like cloud almost well let's not even get into that because the star wars community like tiktok and youtube and it's it's i am appalled at the amount of people that are just so goddamn fake and using star wars for clout and to make money mm, or know, just to even get views and like attention it blows my mind it's like you're not even a star wars fan i know you're so fake and you're just faking your way to get to all these places or whatever you're trying to do and I, I just, I'm like, well, you know what? Keep doing your thing. Like, it's none of my business. I'm focused on my path. But it's wild, man. It is wild. It's well, it, it is. Star, Star Wars and, has gone from something that wasn't really all that popular to talk about publicly. Like, you're not a cool kid. To like now, if you don't talk about Star Wars, you're like, you're not part of the fad or something. It's, and it, it's yeah. good in a sense, but at the same time, it, it just that essence of who is a. a I'm going to say a real fan and not is yeah. you can't really tell anymore unless you're like a legit old school fan, I think. Yeah. And I think um, so like my just like sort of follow up on that, because like I totally see what you're saying and I agree with you. I do think that there's a lot of newer fans that genuinely love Star Wars that maybe aren't in it, you know, the way that you and I are. And I find that like some of these new fans are like they love Andor, right? And they're like, you know, basically have this kind of attitude that's like, again, that like the vast majority of Star Wars fans are just idiots and whatever. And it's yeah. like, I struggle because when it was Mando time and when it was, you know, even Boba and Kenobi to a degree, but really like Mando time and during the sequel trilogy, before it got bad. You know, they had everybody. They had the new fans. They had the casuals, but they also had us, the hardcores. Yeah. Yeah. Like we showed up for Mando. You know what I mean? Like we showed right. up for Mando, and we all liked it. So right. I find it like really frustrating that these people that were literally there during Mando times are not like they don't care about the fact that we were all cheering together. Then 
they only care about like their own kind of personal like i like this because if i were somebody like for instance ah, i know there are examples of this in fandom like i guess multiverse of madness is a good example very divisive movie okay. that i happen to love right multiverse so of I, which, one, which one this was the Doc strange two with wanda she goes crazy wanda goes crazy oh right okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so a lot of people didn't like that movie uh, and it was like divisive. Like I saw a lot of like tension and people being like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Uh, and I love the movie. But I would rather have the movie be altered so that more people enjoyed it to create a better situation for the fan base than just for it to be like my personal flavor. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's a masterpiece. Like I love it. Frame by frame, I love it. But you see what I mean? Where I'm like, but I'd rather mm. have something that the fans could like kind of dig into a little bit more and, and have more fun with. And that's what I think is lacking from no. people that are like cheering for Andor. You know what I mean? I disagree with, I mean, like, look, I think Andor is a great show in itself. I'm excited to keep watching it because I actually enjoy it. I think it's slower paced than maybe some other shows and stuff, but I think it's good. I right. think it's shot really good. I think the acting is great. Everything. As for it being a Star Wars show, it's look here's the thing is that all of the shows that we've had previously they've been about major characters boba fett obi-wan anakin vader um mandalorian baby yoda mm -hmm. if that baby yoda wasn't in there like people wouldn't be as invested at all yeah for the sure fact for that sure. it is a yoda species and it's cute and it's a baby uh, you know it's a it's a thor god of it's a god of war kind of story right mm-hmm we have like the the father male figure and he's got to protect this child and and they got to go through these adventures together and they like narrowly escape danger by the skin of their teeth and i think that's a great formula that you know is out there that disney hasn't created but just storytelling in general but i think if they're going to go and make a show that's like catered towards fans i i don't like that because i feel like then you're not really telling the story. You're just kind of doing legit what fan service is. And I know a lot of people yeah. have it the wrong way where I feel like they they think fan service is just about focusing on Anakin Skywalker or Darth Vader, which I don't think that's fan service. I think that's just focusing on the main character of Star Wars. Yeah. But I, I would like for them to create stories that kind of build upon the characters that we already know or cover the characters we already know, but just like do it better. Yeah, but I mean, couldn't do it better be the balancing of fan service, nostalgia and new, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like there needs to be a better balance because like you look at uh, like for me, Book of Boba Fett, right? Book of Boba Fett has nostalgia. You got rancors, you know what I mean? You get crazy flashbacks. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, kind of take Fett. the right kind of take the uh, Mando episodes out of it. And there's parts of it that really, really work. But functionally, I think it's like just legitimately a bad show. Like the way it's paced, the way it's put together. I'm like, this is clanky. It's all over the place. It doesn't know what kind of show it is. It's it's tonally a mess, right? Right. But the best parts of the show are the fan service parts. Without those things, it's just a goobly glob garbage piece of crap. And mm -hmm. it's the, and the Mando episodes because the Mando episodes are tight, bro. But, yeah. uh, you know, you look at Kenobi. It's the same thing, dude. The best parts are the finale with the you know bringing it home with um right. Liam Neeson fucking you know Vader and that that line that Hayden delivers with the the mask off you know what I mean yeah. like all that shit that's the best part of the show you take that away you've got a googly glob mess it's a yeah. it's literally a bad show yeah. the opposite is what's going on right now with Andor Andor is clean dude like it's Very. clean it's well paced it's, it's shot really brilliantly yeah. it's actual like dialogue where they dig in and give like pithy uh you know responses and whatnot but it lacks the feeling of Star Wars and it lacks fan service. Like, I know there's some stuff in there, but it lacks fan service. Well, just look at the pattern of the last two shows that, that we, I just talked about. Yeah. It's like the flip. Yeah. Clearly, the flip isn't working. Like, right. it's working for some of you, and that's cool. But for the well, overall fan base, it is not working. So the answer is not to flip back the other way. The answer is to find balance, to be able to inject, like... One of the best examples of this is Clone Wars Season 7. Dave comes in, and he knows exactly what you want. Now, he wedges four episodes of Martinez Sisters in the middle of it, but he knows exactly what you want. You know what I'm saying? He plays it He plays it like a fiddle, dude. Like, he gives you all the feels. The excite, 
fucking Siege of Mandalore and shit. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's so good, bro. But I think it's functionally good as well. Like, yeah. it's built well. The tension, the the pacing. It's it's stuff that I don't think you have to know anything about Star Wars to enjoy. But if you do, it's all that and a box of chips. It's like amazing. So yeah, yeah I just I'm so frustrated that what it feels like happened with this was Kathy. It did another old school Hollywood producer mo move and she fought really hard to get Tony Gilroy because he helped save Rogue One, which is, you know, considered the best of the Disney movies to a lot of people. And I'm damn sure one of the things that Tony wanted was a lot of creative control, which meant no fan service, none of that shit, because he doesn't like it, dude. He doesn't like Star Wars, right? So yeah. I feel like she just did this sort of paint by numbers producing. Oh, look at what he did with the freaking you know monsters, I mean? dude. Yeah, they're yeah, I know. It's, Hell, it's crazy. It's crazy. So I think when, but this is like what drives me insane, bro. How do you not know your own brand well enough? They don't. You know what's going on right now with The Rock and DC? Oh, dude, he's like a fan favorite now. He's yeah, I don't even like the rock. I'm team rock now. He I'm got team, yeah. Henry Cavill back, dude. He went and figured it out. He knew exactly what the fans wanted. And to be honest with you, he's probably gonna put out a mid AF Black Adam movie that happens to have a post credit scene with Henry Cavill. And I'm gonna see it like three times, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows the game, he understands the fans. Yeah. Like, how does Kathy, how do the people at Lucasfilm not understand their own fan base? Well, they it's never crazy, did. Look at the crazy, dude. Yeah, but it's just look, look at that massive destruction of the last six films with that sequel trilogy. Yeah, dude, I gotta tell you though, real talk, hmm. I think every single sequel movie is better than most of these shows, and that includes Boba and that includes Kenobi. I'm like, literally, I think uh, Last Jedi yeah. and Rise are better than these shows. Like uh, what? What are they doing other than Mando? Maybe Episode Seven. Yeah, Episode Seven for sure. But no, I, I, I would, I would tell you, I think Seven, Eight, and Nine are all better experiences. Feel more like Star Wars, even though they do stuff that drops is absolutely crazy. Especially uh, Eight, not Eight. Um, Fuck, bro. But you don't have. Here's the thing: you sit down, and I haven't actually done this in a while. But like, you sit down and you watch these movies, right? And you, you watch Last Jedi, and you're gonna curse you're gonna cringe you're gonna be upset but then there's gonna be some cool flashy stuff um and then it's over these right. shows are like homework it's like oh here's this week vespas oh here's this week yeah uh, I, I i you know what i would rather watch these new shows than the sequels man i the sequels is why i'm still so so upset you know i'm it's, more upset by the shows really yeah well because like here's the thing the sequels were maybe always gonna suck compared to george's shit like yeah they just were never gonna be that good so yeah. almost no matter what even if they were functionally great we would have just been like okay good try disney now yeah. let's move on right yeah. these shows they they don't have to be this bad like there's there's nothing where they're like there's no like you know fake ass we got to finish george's legacy like we got to crank these movies we have no idea what the fuck we're doing like yeah. why didn't you learn from the sequels why don't you have a vision for the brand like what are you doing so yeah. to me i actually think there's more of an excuse for the sequels to be what the sequels were than for them to be doing this especially after you already have a hit show it's crazy dude they already have a hit show in the mandalorian so what are these other shows like? What are you doing? <laughs> you can't well, just look, you can't just repeat okay, what you so, did. So when the rumors of an Andor show coming out, I think three years ago, were in the works, and I remember I was doing the show with Mark, and everybody in chat, Mark in, included, would just be like, "Look, Andor's lame. Like I'm not. I don't think it's ever going to happen." And I have been sticking up for Andor since day one that I heard it. Now I see it; it's a great show. But holy shit, it doesn't feel like it's Star Wars. It just feels like it's its own thing. There's TIE yeah. Fighters. Mm -hmm. There's no Star Wars type of music. It does. It, there's no... The Force isn't there. It, it's just... Have you seen... Let me ask you a couple questions. Because I haven't seen the last two. Do you see the Emperor at all? No. Not yet. Is the Emperor mentioned at all? No. 
Okay, that's weird. Are the Jedi mentioned at all? No. Is the Force even mentioned? No. Dude, what? <laughs> like, yeah. how? Well, look, we don't need those things mentioned necessarily. Like, that you don't have to have those. You're telling me yeah, that in the wake of 10,000 Jedi being slaughtered, and being painted as traitors, and this total overhaul in the galaxy, that the Jedi are not going to be mentioned at all? Like, yeah, the well, Emperor. That, that's, that actually makes sense because that's what Palpatine wanted. No, he wants them gone. Yeah. And he wants them gone from memory. But I just, like, yeah. You're telling me that he's so successful at that that nobody's going to mention the Jedi he's at all? Sick. Well, he he literally brainwashed the whole galaxy to believe that they were treasonous bastards. Right, but then, like, him. why do you have stuff in other shows or other books or the games, like, you know, uh, Jedi Survivor and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you have other situations where, oh, shit, like, they're ready. You know, a Jedi pops up, oh, psh, call the Inquisitors, oh man, Jedi time, you know, and everybody around him knew who it was too. Like when he, homie caught the dude at the beginning of Fallen Order, right? When he catches him, nobody's like, what's that? No, everybody knows what it is and they know what's going on. Yeah. Like I just, I have a lot of trouble believing that that wouldn't be mentioned at all. I also have a big trouble. I have a lot of trouble, like why is it Palpatine? either heard or seen or talked about more like too early it, too early yeah too early to talk well, about oh, Palpatine? Dude, believe me i know but at the same time um it is you know we only are getting on episodes so we're yeah we're over half the show yeah no i hear you but it's weird dude yeah you're telling me like you like here's the thing like i feel like they're just in a, again i've only seen the first no i've seen four i've seen four of them i think yeah but when i was watching those even in the senate scenes and four is the best one that i saw right but like even oh, in the senate geez. scenes it was with the art where he's got all the collections and it had all the easter eggs in there oh that's not a senate like that. scene that's just uh that's just luthan's shop right but it's like the senator a... and then she goes oh, back because and... there is a yeah, senate yeah. scene in the sixth one at the oh end. is there okay cool yeah we actually go back you tell me there's a senate scene and they still don't mention Palpatine. It's empty as shit and it's quite interesting that it's empty hmm, okay it's quite well i just find it so weird that it feels like they're talking about this they and you know like luthien and them are like you know when i go to the bank or whatever it's a new person like in all this stuff and i understand like you're building this entry and shit like that but is that not all because of palpatine that would be like doing house of the dragon and not mentioning the king viserys not talking about the king viserys like no dude yeah. like that's the whole point the whole point is well, this per singular person look, that has all this control right the show was you know written by a dude who doesn't know any of these characters or understand them and said he literally doesn't like star wars so right i mean it's going to be a great show regardless but he's not going to incorporate any of these characters to my knowledge that you know because he doesn't know them he doesn't understand them yeah. you know it, it's going to be like the 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 people in the back end of the room probably putting in those easter eggs and he's gonna be like sure i don't care whatever right yeah for sure yeah it's just like tough man i, I guarantee you if uh if this was a, a dave product uh palpatine would be front and center you'd feel that presence like you'd feel oh. that you know, I, I really don't think we need Palpatine in this show. I don't think we need him or Vader or any other of those characters. We don't have to. If you put them too much in all of these shows, it's just going to be like, OK, dude, it's just Vader. You know, we don't need him. We don't need Palpatine. Um, maybe a mention. Sure. But it's still early. But it's not necessarily too necessary to hear about him or anything like that. So that part I'm OK with. But it's the overall it's just slow. Like, let's yeah. just pick up the pace and get to the point. Let's yeah. incorporate some characters that um, perhaps are, or some situations that perhaps are a little more, I don't want to say nostalgic, but mm, meaningful, perhaps. Like, what, what I was saying with the previous shows, Mando and Boba, and those were about, like, every time you saw, every time you started the show, you're like, hey, it's going to be about our main characters, the guys we, like, are really invested in already. Because George did the heavy lifting before by building these stories and these characters to the point where now we're really interested to know what happens to these guys. Where are they going? What's going to happen in this new story? Mm -hmm. So with this show, it's all a clean slate and it's a very clean show. However, it's not like we know and or dies. We don't really give a crap about them. Right. 
like compared to Obi-Wan. But that's like my, or, right. But that's kind of where Andor. a lot of my frustration comes from because like, I feel like Andor is only meaningful because of how he engages with the pieces of Star Wars that are familiar to us. Yeah, of course. So like even okay. the in Rogue One, like he's only really an effective character because he's been a part of the rebellion for a long time. He knows the empire, you know, he's really trying to do what he can to shut this thing down, including like right going up right up to the point of shooting her father and all of these things. But it's, why does that all matter? Because it's the death star because it's Darth Vader, because it's these things. So like you can play with these things and enhance them. It's like, yeah, Look, I I just personally, for me, I disagree with the idea that we don't need the emperor. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you don't need him in every episode, but like, it's the evil empire with the emperor that rules the whole galaxy. Like Sidious as a Sith infiltrating the political system of the Republic right under the Jedi's nose and like causing them to fall apart, overthrowing them, killing them all and taking over and paying them as traitors. That's compelling shit. Like that's, oh. that is star Wars. So like, to me, like just setting up this thing where you're just supposed to be like the empire is taking over um, and they're restricting all of this stuff. And it's really, really bad for people. And then instead of focusing on like the wider pieces, you zoom in by a thousand and you're just talking about some how somebody's dinner party is going to be uncomfortable because of political adversaries that will be there. And the tension is supposed to be created because this is a person that's really working for the rebellion behind the scenes. I'm like, dude, that's cool in certain kinds of movies. But that is so absolutely not what intrigues me about Star Wars at all. Like, I just feel like we're really missing mythic themes the ideas of actual heroism evil versus good and fun like the show's not fun dude like i i'm i bet episode six is fun i hope you know what i mean but um yeah episode just... six had, had was the probably the one of the most beautiful there was one of the scenes that was one of the most beautiful scenes in all of star wars yeah with the, um Visually. they talk about it earlier on it's like the aurora borealis meteor mm-hmm. shower thing that yeah, happens well, when he's when he's flying through and the tie fighters are chasing and shit beautiful really yeah. visually nice and mm-hmm. i know spoilers but i know you don't really give a shit so yeah. um and you've probably already seen it. <laughs> yeah no i mean i know about that episode for sure and i i mean yeah i'm that's cool like I, again like i'm glad cool. like i i don't want to poo poo the cool looking shit but no i definitely so with what you're saying about Palpatine, I think the feeling that it's given is actually kind of cool that they don't they don't talk about him because it's like he's this empire so big that he's so high up that people don't even mention him because he's just so huge, and there are like so many people underneath him who are in power that they need to worry about, like Sly Moore, for example, who's like mm-hmm. you know right next to him all the time. Um, so I don't think mentioning him would really do because it's like why is this common person mentioning the emperor like that they're well, never in an empire the emperor is like supposed to be almost godlike and like revered like that's the whole idea is that they're like larger than life right um and dude i don't know there's just like a lot of intrigue with that because like palpatine is really powerful but the way he's able to hold the empire together is by a lot of people literally believing that the Jedi tried to take him out. He stopped a crazy coup, has their best interest at heart, and they have to give him all the power because he's the only man for the job. He's the only one that can prevent things from falling into collapse. And so this yep. like reverence of him is a part of how he's able to keep in power, right? If you look at like rebels and stuff, dude, like the emperor is like on comms. Like there's hollow news. Yeah. The, it, you know what I mean? Like it's oh, just, it's I, I a really organic part of, you know, what's happening. So I just think we've been focusing so much on Andor that, that, that probably won't be seen for a bit. Um, maybe now it will be that there has been some sort of a, you know, break in with the empire. And I think, I think the whole idea of like good versus bad is very prevalent in the show. I think there's a big, idea or feeling of like the little guy versus the big guy hmm. and has first- andor's sister been brought up again no <laughs> what no 
fuck? Yeah. All, all, all right. that all that doesn't exist anymore. Well, maybe it will later, but he he starts off in a brothel, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he starts off in a brothel looking for his sister. Like I don't know, man. Like maybe good and evil. Maybe. Like I feel like that's a that's like a morally gray character to the point. And I like like I like Game of Thrones. I like Game of Thrones. I like morally gray characters, but that's not really Star Wars. You know what I mean? Like you've got roguish, like people with a heart of gold, like Han Solo. Yeah, right. but I mean, is Han Solo really a great character? Hell nah, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm I'm trying to be as optimistic as I can about it because it's uh, I very much give it a shot, bro. I, I think I think you know with this sixth episode, you'll like it. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, and you know. Yeah, the first few episodes were boring as hell and probably inconsequential to the overall story. But it's built for TV, and we know Disney is just all about milking it and making their cash. So they want to put in some filler bullshit to prolong an episode instead of making it a six-episode season, make it a 12-episode season, and not release The Bad Batch season two just so they can push it for the next few months. And then they can probably push Mando as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I think uh, I will. I will at least watch episode six, and I'll watch like some. Like maybe I'll get like the cliff notes and like go through it. Um, bro, it's tough. It's like it's just it, honestly, dude, it's tough. I actually never really thought that I would get to this place personally as a fan, mm -hmm. um, and I have you know high hopes for the the Filoni stuff. And I also like, I understand that like they've got to make their money and they're just, they're, I, I don't think they're trying to mess it up like this. Like, I think they're legitimately trying. They just don't know what they're doing. They're right. Just exactly. These, these different takes and they're like, oh, that's fresh and exciting. Let's do this. It's like, right. And wow. I just don't know at this point how they can really move forward because yeah, they'll get this data, but how are they supposed to know? Like unless they just go with John and Dave, like how are they even supposed to make sense of this? Because I'm sure they're getting some social media feedback that's really positive, and you know, there's a whole group of people out there that really like the show. So but a lot of the people who like the show are a lot of the people that got tickets to go <laughs> to go to the premiere. It's like, of course, like the, like well, was, there was some some dude he made like a review, and, and it's just like I didn't know I needed this show until I saw it. It's like. Man, shut the fuck up <laughs> right so fake yeah for sure why are you people so fake why so you can get a free movie ticket yeah like what yeah man i i don't know i, I for me man i was you know i was thinking about this uh actually i was having a discussion with elisa about it because she like kind of just got into star wars when she met me and she's yeah. like this is crazy like she's like i don't like what is happening like i i I really don't like what's going on. The fan base is toxic. I don't like, you know, doing this, that second and the third. The fan base and is I, not toxic. It's just people who don't like what you like or like or don't or like what you don't like. It, it that's all it is. It's not even yeah. like people arguing over Star Wars itself. It's literally just people bitching about other people not having the same opinion. And that is insane to me. If it was yeah. like what it was in the old days where it was like, oh, I hated that they did this in the prequels, blah, blah, blah fucking sign me up dude because i lived mm -hmm. through that through that era yeah. i was there for it. i was debating all the cool shit that i thought the prequels offered and a lot of people were like no this is bullshit it ruined this and that and we were debating about the story but now it's about oh you're not good for the star wars community oh you're toxic oh you don't like what i like or oh you like what i like so we can be friends it's like you guys have missed the mark so like you don't this is why i say a lot of them aren't really star wars fans because they just jump on the bandwagon they don't know shit about Star Wars, but all they can do is debate on the monkey brain fucking aspect of, oh, you like something that I don't like. Therefore, you bad. Right. Yeah. What? I agree with you. I guess in my opinion, I just do rope those people in with the fandom because I don't, I don't really I don't see a lot of. I don't. I understand. That. I don't. I just honestly don't see a lot of level head headedness in the fan base just in general. And to be honest with you, I kind of can't even blame people. Um, because of just the PR and the way that Disney has handled a lot of these situations over the last five years, right? But it's it's sad because the I think literally the only thing at this point that could really reinvigorate my love for Star Wars Let me would be 
I'm in yeah. for a minute. Look at this idiot right here. Y'all oh, are calling no. Star Wars fans fake if they don't if they like Andor. That's absurd. When did we ever say that? I literally right. said I like Andor. Yeah. Zoom in on my face. I said I like Andor. I like Andor. How the fuck did you get that? How? Dude, I know. How? Yeah. No. Yeah. Y'all are so goddamn focused on trying to create some sort of a conversation or rather lack of con more like a debate on me saying something that you don't agree with. It's not ever about Star Wars. Like, y'all just fucking get mad about other people having differing opinions. Listen yeah. to the fucking words coming out of our mouths. We're not ever saying, you're not a Star Wars fan if you like this. You're a Star Wars fan if you like this. No one's ever fucking said that. No one's ever said Star Wars is amazing if you have Luke Skywalker running around with a lightsaber. We just want good stories. We have opinions. We're Star Wars fans, too. So maybe yeah. take your head out of your asshole and maybe understand for a second what we're saying. We I mean, have I get, opinions, and we're entitled dude. to them. I get so much of that, especially now, right? Where, because I, you know, everybody kind of knows that I've uh, checked out and that I have sort of strong feelings about where it's at. And so like, I get a lot of that too, where I'll say something like I said something, uh, I tweeted, I said, uh, I've never said Andor is a bad show, but I do think it's bad for Star Wars. And like the amount of people that were literally being like, first of all, saying that's not true. You literally made a whole video saying that you thought it was bad which is not true. <laughs> like, that's not true. I didn't say that in the video. I said, I don't think it feels like Star Wars. It's functionally good, but it doesn't feel like Star Wars. And my, you know, my take on why it's bad for the brand has to do with at a time when people are super shaky, you do a prequel to a prequel that we know the character dies. It's stupid as hell. Nobody ever wanted this show. And I think that it's bad for the brand because it just looks like they have no idea what they're doing. And that's because they have no idea what they're doing. So I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. I think one of the only things that can fix well, this, and it's crazy, but dude, she needs to go. Like when you drive past, have you ever driven past a restaurant or a, a store and it says under new management? Yeah. Have you ever had that experience? So yeah. the reason they put that on the fucking sign outside of the store is because they know a lot of people would never come to that store ever again unless... There was something to signal that maybe it's going to be different this time. Yeah. Under new management is a signal to the community things are going to be different. Yeah. And that's like one of the only things I think that could like really reinvigorate and get everybody back. And like, dude, I don't know, brother. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like there, I have half a mind to think that Star Wars is so daft that they will have this show finish out. They will come up with some reason as to why it didn't perform. They will continue to make it. They will say they will not take accountability for it. They will not understand what's happening to the brand. Probably blame people like you and me, even though you like the show. And I do like the show. I do. It's crazy. Like, like they show. will just erode it further and further and further. Like, dude, it's like it's kind of wild. Like, it's kind of wild where okay. we're at. Your video kind of was talking about how it was shitty all right how it was just like not a good show i understand your points behind it but but the video itself was that you didn't like it you didn't like the show and that's why yes. you stopped talking about star wars yes i i do like the show is it my favorite show fuck no <laughs> <laughs> right do i care fuck no <laughs> like i don't care if i don't ever watch another episode of and or again but the story is interesting it has interesting themes. It covers interesting characters. Um, and it's by far in the most interesting time for one of the, I would say, in all of Star Wars. Yeah, but why yeah. is that an interesting time, right? Because of the Emperor. Because of the Emperor and Darth Because Vader. of all the fucking cool Star Wars things all that Star you could put into the show. Yeah. yeah, but it's still building. So we got to wait for that to build. <laughs> Stop building. We got to wait for it to build. So I think we're going to see cool shit. It's episode seven tomorrow night. I think it'll be good. If fucking idiot face over here in the comments isn't like, you guys are saying Andor's bad? That means that we're not true fans? It's like, when the fuck did everyone say that? No one said that. Yeah. No one said that. Show me a quote of me saying that. And I've never said the show's when bad. Did Josh say that. I have said that I hate it, which maybe you could interpret as me saying it's bad. Because I do hate it. Like, I fucking hate it. Well, I, but I, I, I like don't think it. it's bad. I, don't hate it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I like it. I, I think, I mean, is it the best? Is it the most amazing Star Wars thing? No. But scrounging at scraps here. Like, what do you, 
What am I yeah. supposed to like? This is the only Star Wars thing we got. Like, mm-hmm. would I take this over the Mandalorian season three? No. Am I thankful that we have it? Yeah, it's a cool right. show. It's a good show. So I think a lot of people are probably seeing this as Andor or nothing. And the sad truth is a lot of people are choosing nothing. Like, and that oh, is yeah. wild, dude. That's, like that. Pull up the like, graph again. Pull up the graph again. Yeah, it's like as a brand, how can you uh pull up that graph? Let, me, let, let people me see. It. Let me find it. All right. And this is a Hollywood trade reporter who's doing actual analytical research to be able to write stuff about this. And so here, I'll click in on it. This one on the very bottom that's like barely moving is Andor. Overwhelmingly lower interest surprised and season audience one demand. Mandalorian, uh, did better than season two. Well, yes, but look at overall, I would say it has a higher pop, but it started way lower and ended. I mean, it ended actually about the same, but like mm. Mando 2 comes in hot, bro. Like yeah. its demand was higher than anything else moving into it. And yeah. then it just peaks, it peaks, it peaks, it peaks. And then it kind of comes back down. You right. know what I mean? But um. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, you know, the other thing that's really weird, and this is something that we could have talked about around Kenobi time, is look at Kenobi versus Book of Boba Fett, dude. Like, they're neck and neck, and then there's a point where people just were like, fuck that. And ba- it, like, it, it's, very, and then you have a pop at the end, right? But, like, yeah, man, I don't know, bro. What do you it's, attribute this to? Well, it's a number of different things. I think it's brand erosion. I think, uh, There's only so many look at the end of the day, dude, here's what it is. A lot of people are either on the fence about whether Disney even knows what Star Wars is or not. That's what it is. And you've just got a lot of people that have now come to a place where they're not going to be generous. They're not going to try to excuse things away anymore, especially because. There's a lot of other really good content out there. I mean, you got Cobra Kai, you've got Stranger Things, you've got House of the Dragon, you've got a ton of incredible shows. Hmm. So why and how are the fans supposed to literally suffer through this? Like, dude, again, I don't want to linger on Kenobi, but Kenobi was one of the, like, I still can't believe. Can I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat thinking of Kenobi? It's yeah. absurd what they did to that show. Yeah. So there's only so many situations like that that fans people survive getting stabbed twice, once during Order 66 as a child, and then again by Darth Vader and still live. Bro, if you add live. up all the views of people that were just pointing out the painfully obvious bull crappery of Kenobi, I bet it's more than people that are watching Andor. And that is a part of the problem. That is what I think Disney cannot come to terms with they cannot understand it the other thing that's really wild about this is it seems to be uniquely a star wars problem because even marvel who i agree has had a really weird phase four like phase four has been all over the place she hulk is literally the worst thing they've ever it was the worst thing i have ever seen in my life it's the worst thing marvel has ever done wise marvel wise hands down that was garbage hands down it's the the worst thing they've ever done those ideas it's so wild like who who sat there and thought this would be a good idea Dude, I'm with you 100%. But here's where these two companies diverge. What does Marvel do in the wake of that? They get Harrison fucking Ford as the Red Hulk. They sign major deals to bring Charlie Cox into Tom Holland's Spider-Man. It's going to be crazy. They course correct. They do things. uh, The guy that played Daredevil from Netflix. So they they at least have the understanding of, hey, we are messing up. Things are trending down. We better do some wild stuff to get the hype train going again. Well, you big, know what I mean? The biggest of and, all was, was Wolverine and Deadpool working again. 100%. Jack. That's a perfect that, example. That perfect is, example. 
That is as big as Hayden and Ewan coming together. I agree with you. And so that's what I mean, though, is that they've got bullets in the chamber. They can do She-Hulk and then announce a bunch of other crazy stuff, and we forget it. We're like, dude, fuck that. Yeah, She-Hulk was horrible, but Deadpool 3 is going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what's the Star Wars strategy? Fucking Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Tales of the Jedi? like, Yeah. And then Bad Batch and then Mandalorian? And delay a million video games. Like, do you know how many years it's been since The Mandalorian? Like, people lose interest if you don't bring it out every year. It's wild to me that the hit show that they have, one of the most popular shows they've ever had. The most. It's it's gone for two plus years at this point. Yeah. And the shows that replaced it, like Boba Fett, no thank you. Like, you can keep it. Like, just no way that's even well, close to the caliber of Mando. Let me, let me keep it the first two episodes of Boba Fett, guys. Great. Well, I like the Mando episodes in Boba. You know what I mean? But other than that, bro. Yeah. And the episode where he got, yeah, I, mean, I guess that's the Mando episode. I was about to say where he gets the Naboo. I mean, dude, that Naboo episode. Yeah, the Starfighter. Yeah. yeah, the Starfighter. That yeah. hit. Yeah. So I mean, there's like, you know, know there's good stuff in there. But overall, like, what are you guys doing? Mm. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's tough. I, I am, a, I'm definitely the grumpiest I've ever been about it. Um, yep, me too. Not not hopeless, but literally to the point where I don't really love engaging with people that are going to just like blindly uh, defend. And it feels like so many people are just like, la, 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 la. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Post, post, post the, the link on Twitter right now. I deleted Twitter. I don't have Twitter. Post the link on Twitter Bro, right now. I, anyone who doesn't wanna... like anyone who disagrees with us, oh, come man. on down. Right now. But see, like that's the thing. I actually don't really want to talk to them Dude, about it, bro. Fucking fuck. You could throw it into the. You could throw it into the stream. I just no, look because everyone in the stream here is with us. They're they're our boys. Nah, I bet there's people in here that are triggered. Yeah, but they're usually the silent ones who don't say anything, let alone actually come on have a discussion. Look, <sighs> throw it up, Josh. Throw it in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, anyone I don't who dislikes anyone who dislikes our opinions. Please come on and uh, have a cordial conversation with us. By all means, I'm just down for cordial mother truckers I'm down for conversation. Yeah, unless it's going to be like last time was just give someone an opportunity to freaking pedal their channel and they just try to take a swing at me. I don't know, bro. I mean, I don't I got to be honest. I don't think that's a good move. I don't think that's a good move to just uh, to put it out. And I bet. Wow. There's because I think that you're just going to get some really flagrant, stupid people. Um, but then they leave. That's, yeah. But like, here's the thing is like, what? I'm not here's like, just honestly, I, I don't love, I, I really don't like engaging with these people. Like, because I don't think there is a way, like people are just so emotional about this and uh, like low key. It's a lot of like PTSD from like when the fandom menace was at its height. And was like, you know, shitting on people, like hate rating motherfuckers oh, and stuff like that. Menace. Fuck any hater, anyone. I don't give a fuck. I yeah. do my thing from day one, my way. And uh, if someone wants to debate Star Wars, that's what I'm here for. I'm a Star Wars channel. But I'm they're here to talk Star Wars. If someone has something to say, I have been debating Star Wars since I was freaking like a little kid. All right. I, I've been, I'm, I'm a veteran at this shit. If someone has an opinion, I'm open to hearing it, man. I'm not going to be like, I, look, world. I, I get what you're saying, bro. I'm just saying this. I don't find that any of these, at least the interactions that I've had thus far, are really engaging at all. It's really just a lot of people that are like, well, here's my personal worldview, and that should be valid. And it's like, yo, I get it. Like, to you and your own... Yeah, absolutely. Like, that shit's valid. But you can't deny these numbers. Like, you cannot deny what's happening i mean i guess you can if you want to just be completely ignorant but like to me like here's the thing i love star wars dude like i love star wars way before i loved marvel i actually loved dc before i loved marvel right so like i love star wars i have two dogs literally named luke and leia right like i i mean you and i've been doing this show for two years bro like i love star wars i live in breathe it and it is to this point right here where, like, I don't even want to think about, it. dude. I don't even want to think about it. Like, people will come into my streams and they'll be like, "So, 
do you when you say you've checked out are you literally saying that you don't even want to watch like the ot or the pt or anything like that and like right now at this very moment no i don't i don't even want to think about a lightsaber bro. like it's what? that bad bro it's bro, that you, bad you've abandoned george at this point you can't dude no it's no not, it's look, not that i've abandoned george, george. star wars even as mark hamill had said there's george lucas star wars and there's new, new disney star wars right they're totally different. I get no, and I get what you're saying. If I turn I'm on the original so... trilogy or prequel trilogy, I am boom right back to when I was six years old. All that magic, all that smile on my face, all of that. The Disney right. shit wiped doesn't even exist. Does not exist. Nothing. But let me ask you this: If you have a like, if have you ever had like a really really bad breakup, right? Did you want to think about the good times? Fuck no. Fuck those good times and fuck that bitch. No, I don't want to think about the good times. It's I'm not like super that. pissed. Dude, for me, it is. It's not like because it's not even the same person. True. I'll think of a it's... different relationship I had with someone else. And I was like, you know what? That was amazing. That was we had such a great time together. Hmm. And like they, they were like dead or something. <laughs> like nothing. Yeah. No, nothing yeah. bad happened. It's just like for me, man, like even the idea and this is how I know. And this is why I knew I was like, dude, it's, this is bad, dude. It's like I literally like so like, for instance, we went to the store the other day and we got some miniatures because like, you know, I'm trying to get into Warhammer and I want to paint. Right. Yeah. And like I saw some Marvel miniatures. I was like, dude, that's dope. I'm all about it. I saw some uh, uh, Game of Thrones miniatures. I was like, let's give it a shot. I saw the Star Wars shit. I was like walked right on by i don't i can't you're associating disney shit with star wars it's not that's not it star i understand wars what you're saying Lucas. but i also have to just be honest about how i'm feeling right now dude these are like, just I'm like these are dlcs these are all they are look look at this look at this look at this prick in the chat john marston these dumbasses should have gotten banned from youtube and been demonetized what a horrible thing to say yeah, why would we try and destroy, destroy someone's we, livelihood? The things like, they work on. Like, that what thing into a whole asshole, level. dude. That karma is going to come right back at you, John. You should get demonetized you and banned. You okay. should lose everything you've worked hard for and lose your livelihood and suffer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Typ typical, typical Twitter comment right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are the people you want to have on to talk. I'm like, no, well, no I don't want to talk to these people. I want to have people that want to talk cordially about Star Wars. Yeah. Not you know, assholes who wish us bad, John. It's it's coming right back to you, buddy. I hope you know that. Yeah, that's how I just that works. you know for me, like, dude, look, we got Tales of the Jedi next week, right? I'm gonna do that, right? I'm gonna get in there, and I'm hoping that it'll feel like a warm blanket, and I'll just be like, yo, like, here we go, like, this is my safe spot, right? Um. I don't want to put too much evil out there into the universe, but let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What happens if Mando 3 is middies or worse? Yeah, look. So I'm going to answer that because I know where it's going. It won't matter because I'm so confident about my Vader Episode 2 movie bringing back all of the original fans that George Lucas had created that at the end of the day, it really won't matter. I'm right that, that the impact that this movie will have will will be something that Disney has not done yet. And I love that energy. Like I do. But what am I going to do, bro? I mean, I guess I'll enjoy your film, of course, but like No, it's it's going to bring back so many star it's going to just yeah. You'll see, you got, like, you'll, um, you'll all see. You'll every you'll all see all the doubters, all the naysayers. You'll all fucking see. Let me show you. Yeah. And I like that energy a lot. Just for where I'm at, I'm like, like, I, I think Tails is going to be great. Like, I expect to really enjoy it. Tails will be great. Ahsoka but will like, be great. Mando 3 Ahsoka, will be great. I, oh, yeah. I assume Ahsoka will be really, really good. Like, and I actually assume I Mando 3 will be really, really good. But here's the problem. I thought Book of Boat Fett was going to be like the dopest dope. I thought Kenobi, bro, I was like, there's, I was like, how could they, how could they screw it up? How could they screw it up? Kenobi, you and back, like how could they screw it up? So now I'm at a place where even Mando three, I'm gonna come in a little whoa, bit like whoa, 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 I whoa, know, whoa, bro. I got... Fran Heredia, how's your Lambo that we paid for? Motherfucker, I paid for that Lambo. Don't ever, don't ever, ever get it twisted. 
This is where I, I like that That's shit fun. that Twitch has. Yeah, because mouth? if you were on Twitch, you could like look at his name and see if he's even ever super chatted. The you know what I mean? Of hours that I've put into my channel over the last six plus years, the amount of I I can't even. You don't just get to a million subs in a year by luck. That doesn't happen. Okay. There were things I had to do for my channel off of the pure love for Star Wars and off the pure drive to excel that I have literally impacted my health and my eyes and my brain. Things I cannot get back. I gave over a billion views worth of free content and I worked really hard to be to where I am today. So how fucking dare you say something like that? Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck yourself. Yeah, it's just really toxic fucking... I mean, and that's the thing. Like, I know you don't think of that person as a Star Wars fan, but I only have interactions I mean, like, like this when I'm talking about Star Wars. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it just seems to bring out some of the most vile, depressed, loser energy that I've ever had to encounter. And it's just wow. tough, bro. Like, it's wild. The level of entitlement. It's crazy. Well, it's just loser energy. Like, imagine, like, literally, like, typing that shit out. It's crazy. Like it's just so it's like it's it's just absolute loser energy. And unfortunately, man, it just seems like a sickness that has uh that has taken hold of a lot of um the discourse when it comes to Star Wars. Like I, I even even right now, even like in this conversation, I honestly don't know how somebody in good faith that has actually watched us could not realize that we love Star Wars. Like, and again, I'm not trying to like crap on anybody that that you know does their thing but there are literally channels out there that their bread and butter is shitting on star wars and to be honest with you they're eating as far as views are concerned they're eating way better than we are right they're now because it sucks yeah. so it's like the idea that these people think you and i are somehow equivalent to that which again not even necessarily anything wrong with that but i take offense because i've tried to be very careful with how i handle my own brand and what i say when i talk about star wars People are so brain dead, they don't see the difference. This dude literally said that we should be banned. This dude thinks we're Alex Jones. Like, it's fucking crazy, dude. Like, it's, it's we disturbing. We want Star Wars to be awesome. We want it to be great. We want it to be back to what it was when George. How do people not get that? Like, like, how do people not get that? What is wrong with you? Like, actually, actually what is wrong with you? It's crazy. It's like, tough, what bro. goes on in your brain where you think that it's acceptable to say such a thing? Yeah. Because you don't agree with someone, you want their livelihood to die. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Yeah, it's super negative, dude. It's just it's like insane. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's just a reflection of them. Like that's damn, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. I uh, crazy. yeah. It's just, it, dude. It's challenging. You know what I mean? Because like ultimately, yeah. like I've always wanted my brand to be, uh, you know, about experiencing things together the love of nerdy things and like coming together and all of that right yeah, which is yeah. why i ultimately was like i can't do these videos anymore which by the way guys i could have probably done two to three more videos since that first andor video and i bet they would have popped like i well, bet they would have popped well, you could you know, know. You know there, are, there are channels that just shit on hell them. yeah dude i could have milked that shit probably for like another three hundred thousand views or something like just you know but the, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to engage in that. I don't want to make that content. Um, and like, you know, like this show, like I feel is a safe outlet where, you know, you and I can just talk as boys about this stuff. And yeah. even this conversation, I feel it's constructive. I feel like if you don't see how it's constructive, what we're saying, like neither one of us are like, you know, the shit's just trash and, and it's, it's all just trash and they could do nothing well. Like, no, like we're literally constantly talking about like you're you know defending and or we're, we're both defending the possibility of john and dave taking us to like better stuff like we just legitimately love star wars it's just so crazy that it's gotten to this point where it's so twisted up man that i mean that's just how i knew i was like i can't do this right now i can't force myself to watch a show that i that i hate i can't force myself to engage in conversations with people who i find incredibly frustrating that just want to say how i'm wrong and all these different reasons why they obviously yeah. have no actual like they have no vantage point on what's actually happening right they're just like in a little bubble well, and they're comfortable with 
you know, their personal this, reality. This, this is what pe this is what society likes is for you to shut your mouth, to shut the fuck up, and to just consume whatever is given to you, and enjoy it. Yeah, and just sit there and say, well, "More, please." Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not here for that, dude. I'm not. I I don't care if that doesn't make me money. I don't care. I don't. I'm here to speak my mind. Yeah. And I truly believe that Star Wars saved my life so many times as a kid. And the story that George Lucas created is very special to me. And I feel like it's being completely defiled because of these idiots running Disney. Yeah. And ruining it and destroying it to the ground. And so I'll talk about the things that I think are great that certain producers and creators like Dave Filoni and John Favreau are doing that I really agree with. And I will talk about the things that I don't agree with. Because that is my right as a Star Wars fan and as a human. Mm -hmm. So how dare anyone tell me that I can't do that because it differs yeah, from their opinions. If you want to be a shill or if you like something or if you enjoy something or you don't like something, good for you. But let me have my own opinion too. Yeah. And I will never shut the fuck up. I will never go away. I will never conform. I will always stay true. Always. Yeah. I... I just i wish and maybe there are some like maybe i'm being a little too hard on the fandom because i'm sure there are actually some reasonable people that even though they love andor are like listening to what we're saying seeing the statistics understanding that like you and i have a vantage point that they don't like they don't look at the views of star wars they don't look at google trends for star wars and shit like you know what i mean so i i bet there are some people out there that are like okay i may love andor but obviously there's a large portion of the fan base that either hasn't given it a fair shot, is completely uninterested or did try it and doesn't like it. So what's best for the brand overall and for the community? Is it so that I can have a ton more shows that I, you know, selfishly like, or should there be more of a celebration of star Wars going on? I bet there are people that get that. The problem is the other oh, people yeah. are way louder boy. and, they're like, you know, uh, you know, and they want to make all these different things. And again, like, I, I, you know, a lot of it is PTSD, dude. Like, yo, there was this dude that said something the other day on Twitter, and it was like really insightful where he said, you know, a lot of like the hater channels and like that thing on YouTube and just in general has created this weird backlash effect where we're just eating up this mediocre shit on Disney Plus, And I'm sorry. A lot of the Marvel shows are mediocre shit. And the past two Star Wars shows, maybe Andor is fine. I don't like it, but maybe it's fine. But those past two Star Wars shows, bro, mediocre shit. And we're all just supposed to like eat this shit up because it's the brand that we like. That's crazy. And there are a lot of people that are only defending this stuff because of some weird perceived slight or trauma from like haters and stuff. And it's like, dude, that is actually more damaging than the haters themselves because now we can't even get accurate feedback we can't even ask critical conversations about the quality of this material bro it ain't it it's it's not good enough and until like we get to the point where we can actually air that out and talk about it which to their credit the marvel fans at least have been able to do do i get some marvel fans that are like fuck you i think phase four is awesome for sure but by and large a lot of people are saying like yeah dude like it should get better and we're all excited about the changes, about the things, the new things, the things that are happening, about course correcting. Yeah. But I don't feel any of that energy in the Star Wars fan base. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's, dead. It's, it's it's people rooting for it to die, happy that it's failing, yeah. or apathetic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, With a look, small group of people that are triggered and defend everything. I've thought about switching, not actually like giving a thought as if I'm going to do it, but I've thought about what would happen if I actually switched my tune and just... Every video is about shitting on Star Wars. And we see it on YouTube. We see it with other channels. And more power to them, man. You know, they're they're giving their take. And they're, they're obviously people are interested because they're doing well than doing better than the actual channels that just focus on, you know, yeah. solely uh, whatever topic is out. And I choose not to do that stuff because I think, you know, that's that's not what I'm here for. I want to talk about Star Wars. I want to talk about the stuff that makes me happy. But at the end of the day, I can't ignore the elephant in the room which is that it's being completely sidelined and sidetracked and things are taking a different turn for the worse and we you know you can argue that as much as you want if you like it but at the same time you cannot deny the data the deny denying the data of what we just saw with that graph what you see with sales what you see with 
YouTube analytics of every other Star Wars creator or Marvel creator or uh, whatever, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power creator, or uh, what's the other, the Hot, Hot D show, mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. These things are very evident. Numbers don't lie. Right, exactly. So it's there is the actual scientific data and numbers, and then there is the loud minority on Twitter. Yeah. It, two totally different things. Yeah. No, they are. It's just a frustrating juncture to be at um, because as somebody that actually wants it to get better, I struggle to find like how this would happen. You know what I mean? Um, it, especially because like, like what, and I don't know that this to be true, but like, what if Lucasfilm, I mean, first of all, they already are doing a season two of Andor, which again, great that people like it and that'll probably be a much better I, season I or whatever. If you watch the show, you'll actually like it. Like if you like, if yeah, you watch, but here's the like, thing. Start, let's start from episode six. Just start Look, from bro, episode six. I get yeah, you yeah. and I think you're right. But how many people, I mean, we saw that graph, right? So how many of those people are going to do that? What's the viewership numbers going to be like for season oh. two? And that's like $200 million that you could be putting into something that fans actually care about. Something yeah. that fans would actually get excited about, right? So it's like... Adapted tales of the jedi into a full season yeah 100 percent. that would have it probably would have done way better for them like disney oh was shocked at how well uh clone wars season seven did they shouldn't have been but they were idiots. shocked they don't know their Dude, product that's the thing it's like so crazy to me right so i just it i i'm really like struggling with like not only where we're currently at but like how do we actually get to the next phase without a change in leadership i'm just not confident bro like, well, you just got to sift through the mud and wait for Dave and John to create stuff. I And that's kind of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. just kind of like waiting do. it out and sitting, oh, you know, do. sitting it out. But it's just like, I mean, imagine if, imagine if, like, I just, again, I, I can't believe it. But like, what if like Mando 3 is like not that good? Like, I don't know how I'll react. I think it'll be fine. If they, well, of course. I mean, why wouldn't it be? But then again. It's a it's a layup. Kenobi's a layup, dude. Book of Boba Fett's a layup. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, but Mando, they put so much more time into it. You know, you can just tell. You the, the feeling overall is just so much more special. Um, they really care. It doesn't feel rushed. The writers for the show obviously understand Star Wars. And you know, you got John and Dave really at the helm, and, and now Mandalorian has turned into such a huge thing that it's People are, they're not going to take it, you know, as a joke. They're really going to take it seriously. They're going to put a lot of money and time and uh, they're going to like triple check things, which, which I think with Obi-Wan Kenobi, they would just be like, write it, print it, press, done, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. finished. They didn't really backtrack or think or what, like, you know, it, it was, it felt like a cheap show. It didn't focus on our boys, Aiden and, and Ewan as much as we wanted. Right. They're incorporating this Reva character that really wasn't a likable character. Yeah. And they made her survive the most ridiculous ways possible. Anakin killing a youngling during Order 66. You're dead. You're t like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like a broken record, bro. It's like, you yeah, yeah. Thought Sindrelic, the, the lightsaber master of the whole temple who taught all the students how to freaking fight. And he killed his ass. You're telling me Riva survives twice? Yeah. Get this is so bad, dude. Effed. Get out of here. You guys yeah. suck. <laughs> like, yeah, no. it's just it's just tough, dude, because like I hear what you're saying, and like I do think that like they have every we have every reason in the world to believe that Mando 3 will be good. But yeah, I mean I think so. I'm just saying that we're like teetering on some really crazy shit. Like I remember like a couple of weeks back, I mean, it must have been like a month at this point where Mark said that Star Wars would be divested and that Disney would sell it. And I remember being shocked and I was like, dude, there ain't no way. I was like, no. they would never do that. Never but, Star Wars. but dude, like now after seeing what's been going on, who are they going to sell to? They own all the other companies. No, oh, you could sell it to Universal, Paramount. Um, I don't think Universal has that. Sony, by Star Wars, do they? Well, you no, Universal's pretty. I mean, they're they've merged and they're like a telecoms company. I hope so. so. I like Universal more than Disney. That's for sure. You know, yeah, I always yeah. go to Universal Studios. 
Universal is probably about to buy uh, all the DC stuff in 2024, to be honest with you. Oh, so, Warner that owns it, right? Warner, yeah, currently Warner Discovery, yeah. Uh, what is what is Universal Earth? It's, uh, I think it's, well, it's, I think it's, it's either AT&T Universal or N NBC Universal, I think is what it is. NBC Universal. Uh, and they're, they're pretty big, dude. Well, it doesn't really say. It says NBC is worth $35 billion. Hmm. As of well, last. yeah. Well, know. with all the universal stuff, and I mean, that includes like film distribution and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I, I think they're pretty stacked. I think they got a lot. So. What's Disney yeah. worth? What Disney worth? Disney's worth $177 billion. Yeah. Well, I mean, they cash flow it. Cra I mean, Disney Plus is a massive asset for them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're massive. I'd say they're one of the biggest uh, companies in the world. But uh, I think Apple is worth triple that. You know what I mean? I think um, there are companies out there. I mean, Amazon's probably worth close to triple that. You know what I mean? So maybe more. So there's companies that's got the monies, oh, you know. Apple's worth three trillion. Well, then that's way more than what triple that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's actually actually accurate, uh, but I do know that they're a trillion dollar company. So, yeah, yeah, it's wild. Crazy. That's wild. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and Apple has a lot of cash on hand too. That's the other thing. Like they have purchasing power. Um, so. Yeah, you never know. You never know what could happen, dude. But um, what's Amazon worth? Let's see. Uh, dude, I'm gonna say it's at least two trillion. One trillion. One trillion. Okay. As of October 14th, is one trillion. Over one trillion. Yeah, we're also in the middle of like a completely bear market that's Destroyed, absolutely yeah. collapsing. So the you know their all of their market share is probably yeah yeah yeah. All their market share is probably sunk. Hey, chat. How you guys doing? Missed you guys. Some of you. Um, did you guys see my cool Canada hat? Shout out to Nerdvenger Trev for sending me this Canada hat. Should I look at chat? Is everybody being really nice and understanding in the chat? Should I, should I take a peek? I don't know. Should I take a little peek? Go up. Should I should I take a little peek? At, oh my god, it's horrible! Oh no! No, oh, yeah, it seems like there's some some alright people. What's up? How you guys doing? Love the shirt. Hey, thanks, man. Peter one, Peter two, and Peter three. Thanks. How do I feel about the non-Lucas stuff before the buyout? You mean before the Disney buyout? The non-Lucas stuff? I think there was good stuff. I think there was bad stuff. You know? I mean, everybody talks about Legends, but I mean, Legends had a lot of messy stuff, too. Legends had a lot of stuff that I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Rusty, I missed you too. Don't look. <laughs> How's life? Uh, life is good. Life is good. Um, yeah, man. Just kind of getting along, raising a little baby and stuff. Life is good. Well, I peeked at the chat. Just yeah. To see what it was Pretty like. Fun. It's scary dude everybody's like i'm coming for you josh no i'm just kidding actually people are people are chill well yeah our chat's usually they're here, they're here for our discourse against each other and against others and they're here for us to uh discuss star wars and everything so don't think about it too much too much yeah but uh other than that man i mean how how have you been you've been all right Hanging in? Yeah. Um, busy with lots of meetings for Vader Episode 2. 
as well as um, starting up my animations again for like the cartoons I used to do. Cool. Um, nothing Making else really. Headway. headway on the sabers and whatnot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fuck another thing. Yeah, sabers yeah. on their way. We're almost ready to launch the first thirty, and they're looking really good. I'm excited Sick, to well. Yeah. Um, really excited about those. Actually, those look pretty sweet. Uh, beyond that, nothing. You watching any new shows or catching up on anything else? I have had no time. I have actually not really do. I'm kind of like just burnt a little bit, just on everything that I'm trying to do and like happen. Yeah, you there. definitely have yesterday. a lot. Uh, you definitely have a lot going on. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I signed up for this, so. Um, gonna make it happen doing my best the film is definitely a massive undertaking and i'm very appreciative of everyone's support and everyone becoming a member and you know all the super chats and everything that really helps because uh we, we had a call yesterday um we're going to be filming there's eight fight scenes in total nice separate ones and they're all big and uh, we're going to do mocap and we're hiring a lot of the guys that worked on and girls who worked on uh, Jedi Fallen Order as well as other Star Wars projects. And uh, I'll announce those names in a bit once they're finalized. But we're looking at like just for mocap and everything. We're going to shoot that in Vegas. It's going to be six figures just for that. And that's that's not including like all the other stuff like freaking CG work and VFX work, all of that. This yeah. is just filming the mocap. So that's... Is there like a studio there? Big studio? In Vegas, yeah, there's a studio. There's a big mocha studio. I think it's called um oh, fuck, what was it called? I don't know. But they they like apparently you film everything and they send everything to you that you need. Um and yeah. It's that's cool. Good. Yeah. You ever been to yeah. Vegas before? No. I love Vegas. No, try to so maybe I'll, I mean I know you're gonna be working, but no, I'll no, I'll go down there. No, I, I won't be in the mocap suit. I'll just be filming. I mean, right. I mean they'll be filming, but right. I'll I'll do like behind the scenes and I'll hold live streams and stuff. It'll be fun. That'll be sweet, yeah. dude. Yeah. Those studios are anywhere from twenty five to fifty grand a day. Makes sense, yeah. It's wild. So. It's crazy. It's probably expensive even to get all the friggin' electricity and lights on for those things, to be honest with you. Have all those cameras yeah. and whatnot. So yeah, makes sense. You know what I, I this film will be good. So hell yeah, dude. I'm excited. Hell yeah. I, I hope if at least just one person likes it, you know, I, I'm happy. Well, I think that many people will like it. And I think also too, just with where star Wars is at. And I know you've actually felt like this for a while. You've been kind of like extra motivated to get the movie out because you feel, you know, very frustrated with what they're doing. That can be good. You know, like that can be a good motivating factor. And I think honestly, even the first movie kind of came out and was like a bitch slap to them where a lot of people intention. were like, no, I know. But I think that a lot of fans feel that way, dude, like legitimately where they were like, bro, this is what some dude, a fan can do. Like, yeah. it's so crazy that they can't give anything that feels even, you know, remotely similar as far as like the love so yeah, you know, I, well, wish, I wish I wish you well, one, and I hope that it. Uh, this one will be fucked. Hot fire! It'll be insane, dude. Let me just say that much. I'm gonna pull it off. We got a fantastic team with me, and uh, we're hiring more and more people every day, and it's cool. So if I'm a bit on edge, chat, this is why. It's uh, this isn't like the first one, you know, and it's a big undertaking, and I'm. I'm the producer, I'm the director, I'm the writer, you know, I'm I'm taking on less help um, in that sense and taking on more of the responsibility, but uh, I think it'll be, be better in the end. And uh, yeah. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Also, I don't need to pay myself, so. Well, there you go. Yeah, that way more money can go into the the project, so. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Anyways, I think I'm going to hold like some sort of a live stream or something like that and try to build up as much uh, super chats as I can for not the film necessarily, but maybe just let's just say my pocket. 
You should do a dri- yeah, like a drive or something. Yeah, because my agreement with Lucasfilm was that I would wouldn't kickstart anything. I wouldn't crowdfund for it. But I mean, you know, I can crowdfund for spending money. If you guys want to give me spending money, yeah, yeah, help. for sure. There's probably a way to frame it correctly. And honestly, yeah. dude, yeah. I would not. I mean, look, you got to do what you got to do. But I wouldn't even worry about that shit at this point. Yeah, dude. I, I, I would literally I, I, just say like, here, live stream to help with the movie. And yeah. What are they going to do? Dude. I have spoken to several of my lawyers, and they're like, "There's nothing they can say about that." Yeah, literally. Not. I'm sure their lawyers would say differently, but legally, there's nothing that they can say. Especially considering that they have allowed this for so many other uh, Star Wars fan films, and they have just promoted them. Actually, mm-hmm. yeah. I've seen yeah, like yeah. EA promote some of them. I've seen it's wild, and like people using the actual EA assets from Battlefront, and then EA like promoting it and being like, "This is amazing." Yeah. What the. F- why do I get yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I'll probably do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lu, yeah, Lou Sano says for a new Lambo. Yeah, dude, I could actually title it that. Be like, pay me for a new Lambo. It just happens to be the price of the film. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no correlation whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chat, fun. would you be down for that if I did something? If I did like a live stream and I just put up uh, how much people are donating and put up the screen, and we just like played video games, chilled out. Did like a full stream for that and tried Dude, to. Dude, I would, uh, I would gather, I would wait till you have like a little bit more stuff, like teases, and maybe like every thousand or something, you like do a new little tease, and you have like a a gamification or something to it. I mean, it'd probably work either way, but work. that might be like a fun kind of behind the scenes thing. Chat, you, you know guys I mean? down? Yeah, spam one if you're down. Oh, I see some of you are already saying yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do it. Because it's uh, it's at the point where I, it's like the first film was 160 grand, uh, and this one is <laughs> it's like four or five times that. Damn. It's like we're looking at like half a mil, and it, I'd rather not do that. I mean, I could do it myself. It's just going to take so much longer. Yeah, I do have my own bills to pay and my own life to to pay for, and I don't want to be. I need to do this carefully so I'm not broke. But, yeah, yes, yes, that like, is a yeah sell things in order to pay for it that's not how i want to do this so sure um but yeah anyways cool yeah. good to know you guys are down for it okay upstream <laughs> what somebody said do a hot tub stream yeah maybe yeah what's up boys theory for the orange 66 hat can you add the snapback version to the site josh i heard andor is your favorite show now is this true <laughs> Yeah, you know, this dude came in. Uh, yeah, this dude keeps popping in, uh, just occasionally trying to trigger me in my streams too. And it's like, yeah, it's all good. Like Star Wars, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's nice. He's a good guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but for the Black Friday version, we're gonna have a blacked out one. So if you guys remember, if any of you are like super OGs of the channel, some of the first hats that I ever made were the old, old Order sixty six ones, which were completely blacked out, and those. We're pretty damn hot, and those will be a special edition for Black Friday Limited, and those will be um, Flex Fit. I know a lot of you have been asking for Flex Fit. I spoke to Teespring, and I'm like, yo, we need to get some Flex Fit. And they're like, we don't really offer that, but we can look to outsource it. And I'm like, okay, outsource it. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I'll make less money. I just got to make these Flex Fit hats because everyone keeps asking, and they're going to look sick. So yeah. blacked out, order 66 Flex Fit hats coming your way very soon. Nice. Was worried I'd have to go into another nerd theory without Josh. Long live the king. Hey, thanks. That's nice. And I like your angel wings drawing. Nice. Your art Your art does not suck. You couldn't tell what it was. Not get rid of it. Some new hats, them things, comfy as fuck. Dude, thanks for making Mondays a little bit better. Thanks, Brad, for dropping in. Thanks Hell for yeah, the Brad. Them both left the order. So I could see it, but I don't know. Oh, are you talking about uh, Dooku and uh, Soka? And yeah, that's a good point. I think it'll be interesting. I don't know if they'll actually come into conflict at the end of it, but I think it'll be a well-crafted narrative between those two perspectives because, you know, Dave actually knows what he's doing. So Yeah, that's what they have in common. So yeah. Boys, it's been a while listening while doing homework, grinding my animation design degree. Glad for Daddy J to be back. What's up, Hui? Thanks, man. Appreciate Hui. that. Happy to be back. A little bit bummed that I have to continue to be bummed. I, I, you know, I don't want to bring that energy. That's, but what, you know, it is. is. You're not bringing it. Don't don't worry about it. People in chat being like, Josh is toxic. Whatever. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Hmm. If you don't like something, you don't like something. Yeah. 
And just because you don't like something doesn't make you doesn't make you toxic. Right. Well, I think the spirit of it is like, I want it to be better. And I want us all to like it. You know what I mean? That's like the spirit of it. And maybe I don't say that enough, but like my frustrations are because I want it to succeed, you know? So yeah. What are you guys doing for Halloween? What are you doing for Halloween, dude? I was gonna go down to LA, hang out with some friends and go to Horror Nights, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Horror Nights at like Disney or whatever? Yeah. No. Oh, that was Universal. Universal. Dude, Universal's like outselling Disney right right now in the, over the summer. Like studios? For the parks, yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. It's nice. wild, dude. Yeah, they're they're really uh doing well. Yeah. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Finishes quicker these episodes are Luke and Ahsoka. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, control. You must learn control. Like Yoda's over his shoulder. Uh, 10 minute going to be Inquisitor fight, I'm guessing. Uh, so hyped to see Ahsoka novel be animated. I mean, that's fair. If the 10 is all action, then maybe it'll be dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Big 100 euros from Jens Merton says, is Andor worth it? Saw the first two episodes and didn't really get hooked. By the way, personalized glasses are on the way. Let you guys know when they're shipped. First of all, thank you, Jens, for that. Really, really generous of you. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I would, yeah, I liked Andor. I still like it. So I would go ahead and watch it. It's not the most exciting show, but it's a good show. Yeah. So if you I'd can give it a I'm, shot, give it, a, give it a shot. And if you, if you dig the vibes, then maybe it's for you. Um, it is definitely not, I don't dig the vibes, but uh, I'm not sitting here telling you it's a bad show. So I'd say give it a shot. Mm. Every time of the week when Nerd Theory is live. Glad you're back, Josh. At work right now watching the stream. I'll tune in whenever I can. Much love. What's up, Alex? Thanks, dude. Much love, Alex. Much love. love. Jake says, $10 holla, a.k.a. my contribution to a half second of content footage for the next Vader. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's about what it's shaping second. up to me. Yeah, we're, we're looking at, I think we're looking at, uh, let me see here. Uh, you're looking at about twenty five thousand dollars a minute. Damn. So roughly twelve and a half grand for thirty seconds. So you're a little shy, Jake. You're a little, little shy. Yeah, you're a little shy, bro. But uh, I appreciate it. It's like more like a tenth of a second. Not even that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's like a hundredth, maybe. Uh, but I don't know. Aye, aye, Jake. I don't know. And Jake, I love the Star Spangled Banner, but I'm uh, I'm a traitor today. I'm rocking the Canada, Canada. Let's see what that would be. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's four hundred and seventeen dollars every second. Holy shit! So if you want it, so it's about a hundredth, a tenth of a second, like forty. A tenth of a second of the movie will be forty two dollars. Holy shit! Yo, he's light, bro. Yeah. So Jake, I think you paid for about like one one thousandth of a yeah, minute. yeah, for sure, or a second. But it's the thought that counts, Jake. It's the thought that counts. Thanks. And Jake. also the money. So step up. Jackson Young says, I watched a review by a YouTuber and he said episode four is one of the best episodes in Star Wars. Oh, are you talking about? I assume he's talking about Tales because I have heard that too. I've heard episode four is like crazy good. Hey. So uh, yeah, man, I'm about it. I could use a pallid cleanser. Yeah, I mean, when that that was like the only one that I covered of all the new stuff was Tales of the Jedi because I was so excited. So excited yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Any chance will you show us the design of your lightsaber before it's released? Absolutely. Will you give out a release date or just release it when it's ready? I Once they're all ready to go. So I'll, dude, I'll, I'll show you guys right now. They're all being... Um, well, actually, I'm not going to show you, but... What? Well, here's what we our boy see. at work right now. He is sanding everything down and changing the look of everything, and then he's going to be adding the uh, the different colors and all that stuff. So it's it's a it's a process, you know. And um, yeah, but they look sick. We're adding a leather wrap to them. We're adding some things, and it's going to look really good. 
I don't want to just pump something out and be like, you buy a saber. You know, yeah. It's got to look good. Hell yeah. Look. Hell yeah. Well, Robert V, very generous, says, hey, Theory, doing a favor for Josh since he's a little shy to ask, but do you mind showing us your bare feet on stream? He wants to recreate a hot D scene. You're welcome, Josh. Well, thanks, Rob. Yeah, I'll show my bare feet on screen for five grand. There you go. There I'll you start go. doing that, bro. I'll create an OnlyFans, dude. I'll there you go, anything dude. Anything to fund my movie. Anything. Dude, do, yeah, dude. Right. You should. You should. Dude, so there is a really, like, probably one of those cringy scenes I've ever seen in Game of Thrones in the newest episode where, like, a dude is trading information to basically look at the queen's feet. And then he literally, like, rubs one out in the room. It was like, I was like, what is happening right now? I was like, what is this? That's strange. It was disturbing strange monkey magic yo, yo boys boy. haven't sent us oh my bad go you yeah go, for it. yeah go for it yo boys haven't sent a super chat in a while but i'm always watching loving the show keep the content coming and maybe the force be with us all well thank you monkey magic i appreciate it appreciate that man. appreciate the love she hulk is not good or bad moon knight and miss marvel were good <sighs> okay so i would say the best one out of that bunch is moon knight and to me it was like okay she Hulk is trash. Miss Marvel's okay, but You're racist. I don't know. I guess fuck. I I just honestly think like literally the only good Marvel show has been Loki. <laughs> like, and they've you done like what? what, like ten of them or Gosh. something. <laughs> you know what Andor's like? Andor's like a show about a dude working at the TVA. Yeah, dude, exactly. And I'm not interested in that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, without Loki, without anybody. Yeah, yeah. It's just, just what? It's just. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's interesting, but it's not whatever. What do you think would happen if if Dooku took Qui Gon to the dark side with him, given his knowledge of the Force? Do you think he would surpass the most powerful Jedi Sith? He wouldn't surpass, but he definitely would be pretty, <laughs> pretty powerful. Qui Gon would be very powerful on the dark side, but he'd yeah. probably be a little bit. He'd be like a lot like Dooku. I don't see a Sith eyes. I don't see that. But like, you know, <sighs> just giving into passion and stuff like that. Yeah. This guy says he's super excited for the blacked out order 66 hats. Me too. I think those will be probably bestsellers because those sold out. Years ago. And they, they weren't able to do blacked out for a while. And the fact that these are going to be flex fit. I, I'm, I'm stoked for them. I think they'll look good. Hell yeah. Thanks for always giving me something to stream at work. Glad I'm finally able to watch live. What's up, Dylan? What nice up, start, dude. Dylan? Hope you're doing good, D-Lin. Dylan. Dylan. B-Man! Hello there. The length of the Tales of the Jedi is disappointing. At least we're getting some prequel love. What are your thoughts on my tattoo? What's his tattoo? What's your tattoo, dude? How would we know about I... that, B-Man? What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, what do you... um, but yeah, the, the lengths are not awe-inspiring, that's for sure. I've said it since week one. Andor is a good show, but it's definitely not Star Wars. Yeah, I agree with that, Rusty. Definitely yeah. a good show. It doesn't feel like yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, I feel like if I wasn't so like just worried about Star Wars, maybe I could let that shit go and just mm -hmm. see it for what it is. But like, I see it as just the the latest fuck up, you know. And it's, so it's like really tough for me. But I understand what you're saying. I think it's functionally good. JCH says, uh, Andor doesn't feel like Star Wars for me, but I am really enjoying it. And it's far better than Kenobi and Boba so far, but I do miss true Star Wars content. Yep, totally fair, man. I have no disagreement with what you just said. No qualms. I understand. No yeah, qualms. no qualms. No qualms. No qualm. Palps is on steroids, Sheev Hulk, unlimited roids. That would be sick. Let's get it. The dark side is basically steroids. A little bit. Yo. I checked out after Andor episode five. I've been reading the Revenge of the Sith novelization, and it's great. Beautiful. Is this your first time? Or thanks for all you guys do. You're the best on YouTube. Thanks, Aiden. Yo, maybe I'll revisit the Ronin novel because I did really like that. Maybe that's what I need. Is just like a palate cleanser. You know what I mean? Maybe. <laughs> Mandalore says, my two favorite boys are back in the saddle, baby. How's it going? Heard a rumor that if Andor slaps, then Meb will def shave his beard and hair. Top G style. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I'll tell you this, though. If some lightsabers show up in the show, I, I would be very ecstatic. I don't know if I'm going to bet anything on it, but uh, I'd be like, I don't know. I doubt it. Will. Yeah, I, I really look, don't look, think so. Either. I'll be the first to say that it doesn't need those characters. It doesn't need lightsabers. 
sure it'd be cool but it doesn't necessarily need them i think the show will do fine if it just starts to focus more on the events of the empire and to not gloss over freaking slime more when you're gonna drop her come on yeah i don't know bro i'm <laughs> just like yeah ct <laughs> 1776 that was a good year Andor is objectively good tv but mando and kenobi made me want to go back and watch the ot prequels and clone wars but Andor makes me want to watch red dawn or a spy thriller that's the problem <laughs> i think that's fair actually yeah, that's a really good way of putting yeah it. like it doesn't actually like give you that itch to enjoy other star wars yeah yeah, yeah totally really good way of putting it mm-hmm Disney has no idea. You've been mansplained. I grew up with this as it is what happening, as it was happening. It's defined my life in a lot of aspects. I'm an old guy. What's up, mansplain? Yeah, man. I uh, <laughs> you just got man. I mean, it's he's on point though. You know what I mean? Like D- Disney is, dude. It's weird. Like they're in just this uniquely out of touch position. You know, and I literally feel like Feige just like he kind of had to stand up to Chebeg a little bit because. Like a lot of this shit is just so uncharacteristically whack, even on Marvel. And you're just like, well, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? Um, so I think that things are shifting, but like, bro, here's the thing is like, I don't think anybody's making Kathy do anything. I think Kathy's like <laughs> making people do things. Like they literally let her take a three year break from movies, which is gonna turn into a six year break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. Anyway, uh hundred percent agree miss when star wars was a story not a brand yeah yeah for sure this is kind of gay gatekeeping well if that's what you get out of that man i am unfortunate yeah and or star wars level entertainment star wars is deeper than that yeah but like it's deeper than that without like trying like that's the thing is like Andor has all this complexity it, it all of the characters are like like you're really involved in like following their either a day to day or their personal motivations or like their personality. And it just feels so wasted because none of it is like driving home thematically good versus evil, right. heroic shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, to me, it just feels like, I think it is in a way, but well, I, to I be fair, I haven't seen the it. last two. So I'm kind of basing it off the first four, but like, I remember Skip. early on being like, Dude, why are we learning all this stuff about this this doofus face guy? Like, I don't care. Just skip. Yeah, I'll definitely skip five. Eight guys, only OG fans can like Andor. When did anyone say that? Please show me. No, I don't think. I think he might be trolling or something because, like, that's just so whack. But see, that's what I'm saying. Is it like the like people are so? It's like their their Samus sensors are just looking for things they can kind of twist your words on mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know and i think yeah. if that's what they got from what we were saying then there's no point trying to have a conversation with these kind of people because they're just looking to spin their own narrative and pin something on you rather than looking at what you're actually saying no one's ever yeah. said that. it was even followed up by saying that there is no such thing as a real star wars fan that there's if you like something, it doesn't mean you're a true Star Wars fan or you're not. It just means you like something or you don't like something. Like mm-hmm. people who like the sequel trilogy. For me, I don't think the sequel trilogy is Star Wars. I don't think it aligns with what George Lucas wrote. I don't see it as canon. I don't see it as Star Wars. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to undermine someone else's enjoyment. It doesn't mean yeah. that I'm going to say that they're not a real Star Wars fan. No, they're just as much of a Star Wars fan as I am. It just so happens that we have different opinions on the movies that we enjoy for this overall timeline in star wars and that's yeah. how i look it. yeah dude much the same on my end the only thing i'll say is like like i'm definitely not trying to gatekeep but i just am trying to come up with an explanation mm-hmm. as to like how you arrive at these kind of statistics because like this is the opposite of gatekeeping. This is like the gate wide open and nobody gives a fuck. Like nobody's coming in. Yeah. So like I'm just trying to make sense of like how did we get here? And I think it's pretty obvious that at some point a large portion of maybe what you consider more hardcore fans have disengaged from the brand. And to me, I actually think that a lot of like while the normies kind of keep things afloat, I think that hardcores drive a lot of the content that becomes like ancillarily entertaining to these people, right? Like people like you, 
people like me like we make the content people like everyone that watches carries you know? well, it carries the vibes past the show itself like when you like a show so much that you'll get done watching it and go watch your like five favorite youtubers do a breakdown that are essentially all talking about the same thing then you know that like you have tapped into an interest a passion a desire you know the word fan literally means fanatic right mm -hmm. and so it's like that energy is just not here and so it's like i'm not trying to say that people that have never had that energy before that feel it for and or are invalid what i am saying is somewhere along the line lucasfilm fumbled the bag and they basically caused a bunch of people that were already where you are currently at yeah. to disengage and that is bad for everybody. I think what I really don't enjoy, I mean, it has nothing to do with me, but I just feel like these people are pulling such a wool over maybe more impressionable Star Wars fans or new Star Wars fans' eyes. Is like the people who just like I you can blatantly tell don't give a shit and are just doing this for clout or money. Right. You know, I, I, I don't know. And I, I think that's a psychological thing I need to work on because I feel like they're just disrespecting something that I hold so closely, but it's so irrelevant that I shouldn't even think that way. You know, it's yeah. just someone doing their thing. And, uh, you know, who am I to say that this is acceptable or not? It's, that's, that's life. Well, I think that it's maybe not constructive to get hung up on it, but I think that you're the observation that you're making is a valid one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. there's something Why? going on there and there's something yeah. that we could parse out to try to fix it. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. at the same time, you have all these people that are just like, you're wrong. There's no problem. And you're gatekeeping. And it's just like, dude, that's gaslighting. It's that's these, not real. Like it's these toxic positivity people that are, yeah. they just have no place in my life, no place in my mind. You know, I don't even think those people are really Star Wars fans at the end of the day. I think they're just there to stick themselves into something or feel like they belong in a community. They may be uh, about Star Wars, but it, they're really just always focused on who is positive and who is toxic. And I don't think that has anything to do with actually creating Star Wars content. That's just debating on uh, mm -hmm. your views on whether they someone else aligns with yours or not. That's irrelevant to what Star Wars is. How does how does that build upon the story that George created? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, people should be able to like what they like and dislike what they. Just like, like it's it's I don't know why this is such a common theme in today's world. It's very weird. It's very weird. Yeah. Things have changed very rapidly in the last, I would say, seven years, just with how people look at opinions in general. And I think um people gatekeep opinions. And it's wild to me. It's very yeah. interesting. Very, very weird. Yeah. A lot of weirdness, man. Weird vibes, weird energy. I've definitely experienced a lot of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, just in stepping away or whatever. What's up, Robert? <clears throat> this does not feel like Star Wars. It doesn't have to be about a main character that we know. Mando was new. Just needs to feel Star Wars. There's no feel. Aliens are all new. <laughs> what aliens? <laughs> There's no. The writing needs to be written by someone that knows. Yeah, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Why are there no aliens? Yeah. Kind of strange. It is strange. It's super strange, my friend. Super strange. I don't super understand. Freak. Super freak. Super I don't freak. get it. How did we get here? How did this happen? We just made to suffer. <laughs> it's our lot in life. Damn, I don't think I've ever scrolled this much to find a... Okay. The scramble for Africa, also called the, I don't know, am I going to get canceled if I read that? I don't know what that I is. I don't know. I I'm have no sure. idea. I'm not touching it. This is not, this is lacking context. I'm not touching it. Cal hey. Aiden, very generous. $50 holla says, I agree. The Siege of Mandalore is just beautiful art. Honestly, I think the major problem with Disney Star Wars is that they have too much of a business mindset when approaching something that requires a logical artist perspective. For example, George. Yeah, I think that's I think that's really true, man, so because can... like you look at some of these things and it just feels so producty. It feels so much like a factory. Um, 
Yeah, it's unfortunate. It is. Thanks, Cal. Really generous. Really appreciate that. It really helps out. Josh, Luke had no idea what the Jedi were either. Yeah, but that's like 30 years after... Uh, or no, I guess it's 19 years after uh, Revenge of the Sith. But, you know, what else is really weird... Well, he, did. he did know about... He did. Well, yeah, because like I understand what he's saying, but then in like Kenobi... Like they, they they all know what Jedi are. Like Even the Inquisitors go to the bar. Yeah, of course. And like the oh go to God. the yeah, for sure. And like he's not shocked to hear that his father was a Jedi knight. He's not like, what's that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, maybe he's never seen a lightsaber, but no, I think he knows what the Jedi are. And also in Kenobi, the Inquisitor goes into a bar and says, uh, you know, basically we're hunting Jedi. You know why we're here. Or actually, I think he makes someone else answer it. You're hunting Jedi or some shit. It's like yeah, like everybody would know that dude. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just weird that in the end, we're like, none of that's talked about at all. It's very weird. So, Rust Day. You know why these shows aren't feeling like Star Wars? It's missing the philosophical and mythological lessons like one to six. And most of the music that's killing these shows, Star Wars needs epic scores. Yeah, the mono myth, dude, the hero's journey. Where's it at? <laughs> like, what are they doing? <laughs> Have this on while watching the pens game. What's up, Corey? Nice. How the pens doing? Answer me now in chat. Cable 10. Felt like Andor had a slower start, but four to six was some of the best episodes of anything I have seen on Disney Plus. The writing and directing was so good. Writing and directing is very good. I agree. Yeah, I mean it's like a really well put together show. It's, you know, it doesn't feel like Star Wars. Right. Tom, the show may be good, mid, or bad, but they're just there. The sequels destroy the OT. Uh, story and killed any future Star Wars. That is why all these shows take place in the Empire era. Shows greater than sequels. I understand that take, and I get what you're saying. I'm just saying, like for me, man, like it almost kind of goes back to something you said earlier in the stream, where you, when you sat down in the theater to watch Episode Nine, and the crawl came on, and the music swelled, and you started to get into it, that it felt like Star Wars. And what I'm saying is, I had, even though I'm incredibly critical of the sequels. I had more of a feeling that I would gauge as a Star Wars experience than I have had with the majority of these shows. And that's damn sure the case for the MCU as well. The shows don't feel like the movies. They're not even close. Yeah. You know, so um, I understand his take, though. I get what you're saying. Hype 69, if you think Josh should stop being a Disney shell. <laughs> right on. I'll put 69 in the chat myself. Ooh, Pens 2 1. Nice. Show and you don't want to watch it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you know. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sajid, you two played me hiding the noti that you went live. Hope you all have a great week. Blinkers all around. Josh and Marvel vid carrying me morning six to three shifts. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. I've noticed that. So because YouTube has been focusing on shorts so much, videos themselves don't get recommended to new viewers and they don't even get shown up to my subscribers. It's insane what they've done how they yeah the whole algo is like shifting a lot i've talked to some other star wars youtubers same shit yeah it's insane but i mean part of that is disney too i mean part of it's youtube for sure but i mean disney allowed this to get to this point do you know what i mean mm -hmm. um and people are just apathetic to star wars and that is not necessarily youtube's fault now youtube is in a phase where they're like, what is this person like? How can I get like basically how can I suck 40 minutes out of this person's day? And yeah. the algorithm has just kind of decided like Star Wars is not going to do that. Yeah. So it's going to put whatever else, you know what I mean? That it thinks is going to suck that 40 minutes out of your day. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, not to go on a complete tangent here, but uh, I actually was talking to some like data guys about YouTube and one of them made this really interesting comment where he's like, you know, the truth is that YouTube doesn't even want you to make the best video possible because if you really and truly made the best video possible, it actually might hurt the watch time of other videos and your own kind of flow. So like technically speaking, like YouTube doesn't want you to make a video that is literally so good that it hurts the retention of other videos. Like it doesn't want you to have such a unique experience, such a mind blowing, meaningful experience with a piece of content that you won't 
like that you're just going to stop and go think about it or some shit, right? So like if you really think about it, YouTube isn't even actually incentivizing. Who else said that? It's a data guy. That makes no sense because if someone's invested in a video and let's say it's such an amazing video, there's going to be so many people that will flock to that video, which mm -hmm. then means that they'll get recommended other videos and they'll just stay on YouTube. Or the next time they pop up on YouTube, they'll be like, you watch this video. It means you're going to watch this other video. Well, one of the big pieces of data that's actually hidden very purposely, I think, from the YouTube perspective is how do the actual individual videos affect a session? Meaning like, how does a video affect how a viewer is going to spend the next hour watching videos? And I think there is evidence to suggest that certain kinds of videos that I think you and I would consider to be very, very good would actually hurt a session times data. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, because ultimately all YouTube really cares about is keeping you watching videos so we can serve up ads. It's not technically incentivized to make the best possible videos. It's the best possible YouTube version of a video. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's just an interesting thought. You know what I mean? We don't have that data. We don't know. But YouTube is very. Well, my network spoke with YouTube today, actually, regarding what they've done with uh, with channels. And uh, as I said, the 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 main algorithm creator, uh, along with, was doing a panel with Mr. Beast, and he's like, "We full on messed up. Like we didn't realize what we did when we changed the algorithm." It was just constantly oh, with the short thing. sports mm -hmm. and um, they've fixed it now, but it's still, we're still seeing how on the back end it's affecting so many things. It's still not fixed yet. Have you ever done shorts on your main channel? Yeah, I have in the past. There's a few. <sighs> okay. Didn't affect my channel at all. Not at all. right away, maybe. I've done maybe like four on my channel. Okay. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, I want to start doing some clips, some shorts of like my actual pre-existing videos. I think that yeah, would be I think that could highlighting pop. old videos, and giving them giving them a second life. You know, I've um I've been working with some data guys, and I'm working with like a new company, uh, and I'm having like some really good success, man. You know what I mean? Like we're having uh one of the best months we've had in a long time, and it's a a dead zone. You know what I mean? Like as far as like she hulk i stopped covering that and or i stopped covering that but like we're popping you know what i mean and a lot of that has to do with like kind of looking at these changes that the algo has and trying to decide like well how do i then adjust how i cover things or how i make certain videos to uh you know service the new desires of whatever's going on in the back end did you say so, you're doing shorts now no no, I mean I will do shorts, but I'll do them on a completely separate channel. I would not do that on my main. Would you channel. say it was popping? I, I was reading the other question. I was. Thinking. Oh, like we're just. I have like a lot of videos popping. I have like. Oh yeah. Uh, a video over, two hundred k. A lot of videos like hovering at a hundo. You know it's what I mean? Hype, and it's the thumbnails. Your thumbnails are like fifty bajillion times better than. They. It's definitely the thumbnails. Wow. Thumbnails are a super important part of it, but it's also like, the structure of the vid how it's how the information is dispersed because it's like little things like if you can push retention from 50 percent to 60 percent bro that can be the difference between you know what i mean like that really can push it mm -hmm. so little things like that and kind of like digging in and making the retention in the first uh 30 seconds of the video like 80 percent or higher you know what I mean? Like little like kind of tweaks like that to like just trigger the algo to be like, yo, people love this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's kind of what I mean is like that's not even necessarily a good video. You're just doing the things to keep the people watching. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Saint Saint you has a something to say. This is what I mean. All you want is views. It's not about the content. It's about views, Josh. Well, I definitely want views, but I've also dug in to really think about how to service the audience I have and the audience I want in a way that will obviously, yeah, get a ton of views. Um, and yeah, absolutely, like covering things and covering things that get views is 100% part of the game as a how YouTuber. How dare you? How dare you? I know, right? Like, how dare I? 
How like dare crazy. you want to get your videos out there to more people? Yeah, it's scum. wild. You're scum. So, You're totally crazy. scum. <laughs> yeah, how dare I? Irvin Kershner wasn't a Star Wars fan, but made one of the best Star Wars films, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah he you know did. What Irvin Kershner had was George Lucas <laughs> looming over like, his shoulder over him. Like, every yeah. shot. Yeah, 100%. Every and he also shot, loved George. Bro. And also, fuck, that's such a weird idea, too, because you're talking about the guy that made the second Star Wars movie. Bitch, there was only one other one. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy that you're like, he wasn't a Star Wars fan. You mean he didn't watch the one other the movie, movie religiously? Yeah. Like, yeah, what, what kind of a take is that? That's fucking absurd, dude. I'm sorry. The Wookiee. And and George Lucas literally shadowed his ass the whole time. It was just right. like behind. the. He was there. He was there. He was guiding the whole way. He's like, no, we're not going to do this. I've read. Irvin Kershaw was a Star Wars fan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. Oh, God. Damn. Okay. Damn. Anyway. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ethan? Han didn't even know about the Jedi till Ben. What? No, he did. He said that stuff's just a bunch of hokey religions. Yeah. Okay, religions and something else says MK Matt says, in my opinion, part of what handicaps and or is similar to other Disney Plus shows, its name and based on a single character. Uh, this limits the, uh, the show's scope from the outset. Okay, but here's the thing the other shows, so. Obi Wan Kenobi, Book of <laughs> Boba Fett, and Mandalorian. MK Matt, I love you, but what the fuck are you talking about, dude? All Literally. of those other shows are titled about a singular character. Yeah, and they like cover so many different things and so many different characters. Good point, though. Disagree. Showing too much Vader will lose how special he is. Right. Look at how many times Batman and Superman have been in anime live for the past 40 years. Do people still find those characters special every time? Yeah, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. With Vader, it's different because he's a very mysterious character. Yeah, he's different. And there are comic characters like that as well. Right. You, but, you, can't, um, you can't have Vader portrayed in the same way Batman is in the cartoons. Yeah. It just makes it not as impactful when he shows up. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that, but I understand the spirit of what he's saying. Like this idea that like... We got to be very sparing with the way we use Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. It's like, then do that. Do the work. Put them in there. Make it feel right. Like, I don't I don't know. That doesn't give you license to just ignore it. Yeah. <clears throat> if all you have is cameos, you don't deserve them. I don't understand what that means, dude. I remember those streams. Lil Mark was saying it would never happen. It was during S7 of Clone Wars in 2020. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I love the fact that Andor's coming out. I think it's going to be a great show. Yeah. Samuel Sam. Michel, <laughs> S. you know, no. oh, sorry, go. He, let's do it together. Okay. For once, I'm glad, I'm glad Star that Star Wars is trying, is trying to, to do, do something. something not connected to the Force or the Jedi and said, everyone I know says this is the best Star Wars yet. What do you know? The other hundred people that are watching this show? Like, what, what does that mean? Everyone I know. Like, how many? Okay, how many people do you know? Like 50 people, 100, 1,000 people. Look, it's cool that you're glad that it's not connected to the Force. That's fine. But this low-key feels like you saying that all the data, all the evidence that people are checked out, that this is not good for the brand, should be ignored because of your anecdotal personal experience. That feels like that's what you're saying. Mm. That's ridiculous. Mm. Stuart Imwe is a much more interesting character than Andor. They picked the wrong character story, in my opinion. Also, no Palps or E.T. in Senate super fail. Yeah, dude. Stuart Imwe would have been a cool character. Yeah, for sure. The Wills learning why uh, Look, his homie used to be... What did he say? He's like, Base Malbit used to be the most devoted of us all. And yet he doesn't believe in the Force or practice it at all anymore. That's an interesting story. What happened there? You know? I don't even remember that one. What? Yeah, you don't remember that? He says, because uh, he says, uh, it was like, I think in the prison scene, and he says, he's praying. He's wow. praying that the door opens. And then Chirrut says, it bothers him because he knows it's possible. 
and yeah. he's like you know you know you're crazy and he said you used to be the most devoted of us all yeah and that's interesting like why what what happened there you know careful careful with the accent we're gonna get canceled well i'm just replicating what he said i know i know dude it's it's i know i know you see doc go on in a full yeah yeah that? or he was like yeah yeah he was he, like i he was, he's like i have an up. accent that i could do but i don't want to upset anybody or some shit like that yeah but yeah. then he went on and full on did it well there you go oh uh... you're doing the same thing if someone likes it more than you that's not a sellout or fake fan seems like gatekeeping no not at all you missed take completely no. so i have obviously i've been doing this a while and i have a lot of intel on the different people that are making star wars content and uh the things i hear that obviously if i made that very clear of the things i've heard and things i've read um that would be destroying someone's career and i'd rather not do that because first of all it's not my path and second of all who am i to do that to, to anyone's um what they're trying to do so yeah. but all of that brings me to the consensus that yes some people are definitely fake fans and they're just doing it for clout um and it's unfortunate but that's there are fake people out there that's just the way it is I yeah. think if the series was called something like Star Wars Rebellion and focused on a new character would be more interesting. No, I think the show's interesting as it is. I like, I, I still, I'm not at the point where I'm going to say I don't like the show. I like the show. It's slow, but I like the show. Mm -hmm. It still keeps me motivated, like captivated. Yeah. W Theory, good rant. Yes, man. Mm. Preach Theory, hell yes. Let them know. It's respect. <laughs> it's respect. It's about family. Toxic Star Wars fans live online main. Live online, man. When I go to Star Wars Celebration, all the fans, they are like family. No one is toxic. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I agree. Yeah. Celebration is really a, it's a celebration. It's a good time. Bro, I don't know when I would go back to Celebration. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, celebrate what? Harley Park says, hey, I love you guys. I am tracking both of you. And hear what you are saying. Here is to your continued content. I do want more quality from Disney Star Wars. Right nice on, man. Appreciate that. You're early. Nice comment. Yeah. So do we, you know. In lighter news, Windu over Windu beats Vader. Windu is better than Vader. Take that note there. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> right on. Mo from the foe. Sin City. Lucasfilm wants the OG fans gone so they can proceed with the woke agenda. And the new fans who are into woke stuff will lap it up. Yeah, but yep. Andor's not woke at all. Right? Unless I'm missing something. No, not at all. Yeah, I don't think they'd do any of that. No. Nope. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Nope. Like, I get what he's saying, and I think there is a measure of that that's true. But that's not really the real problem, man, in my opinion. <clears throat> appreciate appreciate both y'all being honest please keep making the content you love whether it's covering disney content or not can't wait for vader 2 thanks jch appreciate it man yeah. and everyone else listening right now on spotify we love you guys too we appreciate you and uh we love doing these streams hell yeah hell yeah <clears throat> gentlemen hope all is well I got absolutely nothing to do at work and i could watch right now but then i'll have nothing to listen to you on my car ride home may the force be with you that is a conundrum that's a pickle well you could watch uh you could watch twice you could watch you could listen to this listen to this one on spotify and then go and listen to the freaking what two and a half three hour anakin Con vader comics that i have yeah yeah go listen to that man that's probably like four car rides worth five car rides worth it could I be mean, worse, guys. We could have a Star yeah. Wars show as bad as Rings of Power. Legit worst show to ever air. I still haven't seen it. And I yeah, I, ch I checked out uh, of that one, and I'm definitely not going to finish it. Um, no. Yeah, no. it was also just really boring and uniquely bad television. I guess the only... The, I mean, it's just crazy how much money they spent on that show because they didn't spend that much on Andor. <clears throat> but uh, I tell you, man, like... Stopping watch parties in general, not watching Rings of Power, not watching Andor has been quite pleasant. Like, 
you know, and honestly, the only reason I even finished She-Hulk was because of Daredevil and then the hope that they were going to set up some dope stuff in the future. And that last episode was like, wow. Um, but like, I'm just kind of at a place where it's like, why would I like, I, I don't want to do homework. Like school's out, bro. School's been out. So why am I like, it shouldn't feel like homework to like sit down and watch these shows. Like, no thanks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like an anime right now, by the way, is like in a golden era. Anime is like straight fire, absolutely destroying the West in their ability to tell awesome, interesting stories. So why wouldn't I just watch a dope anime? Yeah. You know, like that's kind of where I'm at. It's just. That's why I'm so happy that I opened up the Dragon Ball Theory channel. And yeah. I can talk about. Bro, it's... you should watch the new Bleach. New Bleach is fire, bro. It's so good, dude. Like fluid uh, animation. Oh, dude, this new villain guy is so intense. It's so crazy. Never seen um, Bleach. Oh, Bleach is good, bro. Bleach is really good. And Ichigo is like a incredible hero. You know what I mean? And you know what else, too? Let's take it one step further, and then I'll shut up about this rant. Um, we were talking, Elise and I were talking earlier about how we want Liam to watch anime mm -hmm. because the heroes are not afraid to just be strong heroes, dude. Yeah. Like Ishigo just has this thing where he's always going to try to do the right thing. He's always going to try to persevere and push through because of just wanting to help people. And he's not afraid to be strong. Yeah, You know what I mean? It's just like, like that's the kind of stuff that I want my son to like grow up and watch. Not like she hulk <laughs> you know what i mean and shit like that it's like ugh. so yeah anyway i agree with you david hot take one star wars ain't the biggest ip anymore it's marvel and they're doing what dc did and trying to mimic it hot take two we shouldn't equate success with numbers and money well then what should we equate success with well when you're looking at disney i mean you kind of have to because numbers Shit. and money equates to people um, purchasing the product or consuming the product. So the more money something like a show or a restaurant is making means that more money or more people are eating the food, more people are watching the program. What other metric is there? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's so wild to me. Like, we shouldn't equate success with numbers and money. Well, then what should you equate it with? It's very easy to say, like, yeah, of course, money isn't everything, blah, blah, blah. So the number, of course, but that's the metric we use to equate how successful something is. Yeah, man. How loved it is, how um, consumable it is, how consumed it is. Like, it's, there's what, like, what else are we going to... I would understand if he said, my personal enjoyment is not predicated on the success of a thing. I'd be like, yeah, dude, Bob's your uncle, right? Yeah, on. I, I understand. I that. But that's not what he's saying. You know what I mean? It's like taking it to a different level. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Bobby Jackson. If I worked at Amazon Warehouse, I'd probably not talking about Jeff Bezos. I'm more likely to talk about uh, my direct manager. To me, right. Andor is about middle management, not the CEOs. Dude, right. totally understand that. But who right. gives a fuck about middle management? That's my point. I understand what he's saying, and I agree. It's just to me, it's like, that's just for the birds, dude. This isn't the office. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care, <laughs> dude. No, uh, I'm with Bobby. I agree, Bobby. Hey, man, you could be with Bobby. He seems like a chill dude. It's just not me. It's just not me. Much love. Much love. Al Josh Theory, Fave Song of the Week. Also, I can't thank you guys enough for the tough times you kept me entertained through. Fave Song of the Week. Do, you, do people do that? Do they have favorite songs of the week? I don't know. Um, I'm feeling Underworld by an average gang lately i don't watch or i don't listen to music because i don't like stories okay disney doesn't need to sell star wars they just need to sell this movie. yo that's a wild ass take disney plus makes them so much money though yeah man. So, so i just think like just do better disney plus content please that's what i would say I like Kyle. Kyle. in need of Mando season three in Ahsoka. Yeah, 
Hell yeah, dude. I, I cannot wait for that shit. And I'm really hoping that it's great and that we can all be celebrating together. I'll still throw the occasional shot at Andor just because I'm a dick face, but we could all be happy together. That would be great. <laughs> Love you guys and scroll the haters in the chat. Timothy Thanks, Brock man. with the W. Hell yeah, W, Timothy. This chat was referring to you saying clout chasers aren't real fans, but they took it as Andor fans aren't real fans because X person doing it for clout. Yeah, that's actually a fair assessment. Um, and yeah, clout chasers aren't real fans. No, I know that's true. Like they're they're clout fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, haven't you seen that, bro? There's like so many people out there that try to like fake being a nerd. I mean, of course, dude. they can like dive into the whole like Twitch business. Or they Look, can dive into the whole like yeah, for falling sure. under the nerd cam. Oh my god, I'm such a it's nerd. It's a fine line between saying because like there are normies, right? And so like Warhammer, right? Like I'm getting into Warhammer because I like the fan film. They made some magic cards that were dope. I got into the lore videos. I got into the painting videos. But I am absolutely a nerd or a, a noob, right? So like if I show up to a Warhammer tournament and try to act like I'm a fan that's as knowledgeable and on the same level as this dude who's been playing since like fifth edition. Yeah. That's absurd. Now, if that guy says I can't play because I'm not a real Warhammer fan, yes, that is gatekeeping. But the idea that I would storm in there and be like, well, actually, I like just playing Warhammer with one figure. And I think that's a perfectly reasonable way to play it. And if you don't think so, you're gatekeeping. That's kind of like the energy that some of y'all bring to this shit. Where it's like, it's one it's one thing Very to say. Well said. Yeah, it's like, it's one thing to say, like, uh, you know, these people are valid fans. Facts. You're valid and you're welcome. But you can't assert authority over a thing that has not just been gatekeeped, but held afloat, kept alive by people like us over the last 30 years like that's just absurd yeah you know it's wild insane yeah <clears throat> so anyway someone asked what's josh's channel's name josh what's your channel's name uh the den of nerds and the den of nerds live and uh yeah we have a good time over there come on by I think the metric that isn't shown is fan retention. Seems the amount of people who watch and enjoy it is probably higher than these other shows. More, most people just aren't watching this to begin with. Right. Fair. Yeah. Fair take. Oh, so the people who are watching this probably enjoy it more than the other products, but overall, there aren't enough people watching it compared mm -hmm. to everything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Fair assessment. Fair assessment by the apprentices. So you're gonna watch yeah. tomorrow's episode? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll do like a double feature and watch like six and seven. <clears throat> Hot Autumn. 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 What's up, man? Fifty-four percent of U.S. adults, sixteen to seventy-four years old, one hundred and thirty million people read below a sixth-grade level. Wow, that's wild! Uh, this is the real problem of the state of fandom. Everyone has a megaphone now. May the force be with you. I think there's some truth in that for sure. I think social media exacerbates it too because, like, people just get on there and feel <laughs> like you know, self-assuredness is like entitled one of the highest qualities that uh fools have you know what i mean and i understand all that but like i don't know man like it's not a it's not a good look also to just walk around sort of entitled and be like everybody doesn't agree with me is stupid like i try not to like go that route i think it's more like a lot of people are not objectively thinking about things and also probably miscategorizing the things that I'm saying based off of their bias. Um, mm. Yeah, I forget who said it. I think it was Descartes that said all human suffering is anchored in the inability to properly communicate with other human beings. Um, and in a lot of ways, that's probably true. I think it's important to say this isn't Star Wars. Star Wars is about imperialism. Andor is about breaking imperialism. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and at a base level, that plot is Star Wars. But I guess to be super crystal clear about this for Charles's sake, when I say 
it doesn't feel like Star Wars. It's very different from you saying it isn't Star Wars. Technically speaking, yes, it is Star Wars. It has Star Wars label on it. It's made by the company. It's produced by Lucasfilm. It is Star Wars. When I say it doesn't feel like Star Wars, there's a feeling that is created that is a combination of the music, the dialogue, the shots, these feelings, and uh, it, it, like all of these elements are created together to create a feeling uh, that is Star Wars. Horror has a very unique feeling. Okay, it has tense music, you know, high pitch, like squealing stuff, sound effects, you know, crazy lingering shots, jump scares, and that's kind of cutting. And so you create a feeling with the film or the show, and that feeling becomes the feeling you associate with the thing. So for me, with Star Wars, it's very important that you have these the, the musical cues. It's very important that you mythically discuss good versus evil. And the force is just the allegory by which you do that, right? So without those things, I don't have the Star Wars feeling that I'm familiar with when I watch Star Wars content, right? So like technically speaking, you are correct, but it's also not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not Star Wars, even though sometimes I shorthand say that. What I'm saying is it doesn't feel like Star Wars. There you go. <clears throat> Fair enough, from, Tony. From cert point of view. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like yeah. what he said. You don't always have to agree on, on things. And that's totally cool. Yeah. There's no more adventure, mystery, or fun where being preached at and blamed shifted if you dislike it. You're an ist. Yeah. There's cool. a lot of that that goes around for sure. It's going to change. There's going to, there's going to be a change eventually. It's just right now is wild the last few years. Mm -hmm. Wild. I'm hopeful. I want to change. Hey, Theory, I'm down to chat. I'm a Star Wars fan. I'd like to debate, not argue. I constantly find myself agreeing with you guys and disagreeing at the same time. Let me cool. know. I'm always down to talk. Dope, man. Sounds good. The moment's kind of passed now, but I'd be down to hold. We can hold a stream maybe like another week. What was going on? Oh, I'm just checking in on baby. Okay. He's been oh, a handful of seer. What's going on, dude? Looking spiffy. My yeah. brothers, most of us here just enjoy your energy together and would like to tune in to anything y'all do. We all have more in common than differences. Facts. Nice. That's Facts. very sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. Okay, but where's the Lambo vid, though? That's true. You haven't done that. That's true. I haven't. Yeah. I personally think the only reason why you should be banned is because of that time Nerd showed a video of Theory clapping his cheeks on the Boba stream. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just agree. I just say, yeah. I must have blanked on that one, but yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that was a great time. I'm going to take a pee and just check on uh, things real quick. I'll be right back. All right. I want to discuss civilly because I have some issues with some of your opinions. Where do you want to chat? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> I was open to it. I was fired up before. Now I'm just chilling for reading soupies and it's getting late. So we'll do it later. We'll do it another day. We could even open up a stream like not on a Monday. Or we could start off next week with you guys hopping in. I could have Josh just like post the link and get the word out. And yeah, if you want, be down for that. To clarify my comment about the reading level Americans was not in reference with you two. No, we got that. It was directed at those loser energy Josh. Spoke. Yeah, no, no, we got that. And you, even if it was, I mean, it's, it's fine. Love you, man. Thanks, Hans. X8, getting here late, but I've decided to get the legacy Talon and Crate comics, but I'm curious if anyone recommends any other good comics, EU or canon. I'd go for the, the Qui-Gon. Uh, damn it, which one was it? It was, I think it was Padawan. I think it was called Padawan. Was it called Padawan? Double check. And then any of the Vader Dark Horse comics, you cannot go wrong. Like um, Vader and the Ghost Prison, my favorite. Darth Vader and the Ninth Assassin, amazing. Uh, Darth Vader and... Oh, what was the other one? Chat, why don't you guys list them too? La 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 la. 
Brad says, I'm all for theory shutting down all these hating stooges, bunch of bozos just spreading toxic. Yeah, it's it's an overall kind of feeling of like, no one's really talking about Star Wars anymore. It's just talking about if you don't agree with me, then, you know, you're this. Or if you agree with me, then we're cool. Or It's, ah, why? It's so much gatekeeping of opinions. It doesn't, I don't, you, people, you don't have to like second guess your opinion on stuff. Not because of the opinion itself, but because of how you may be judged. I think that's lame. It never used to be like that. Oba one with the 50. Thanks, man. We both really appreciate it. He says, love, or she says, love you both. I empathize with Josh, though. I love Andor and believe it's slowly panning out to the larger Star Wars verse. I think <clears throat> the general trend in the show is being less popular. I'd like to see the chat the chart with Bad Batch and come on to talk, DM me. Cool, yeah, totally down for that. I was thinking we could do like another stream another day or we could even start next week off just by doing that, just by having people come on and talk with yeah. us, debate and cordially just have fun and make some new friends. And maybe Yeah, I mean, you never know. It could be really positive. I just, I don't know, like, and maybe it's just my bias and kind of like where I'm mentally at, but like just for me with a lot of, like with a lot of like Star Wars fans that have been trying to get me to have discussions with them, I'm just like super not interested because it just feels like feels like a waste of time. It feels like they're already dug in on how they feel about it. They've already have their opinion painted on how they think I view it. And it's just like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? But uh, at the same time, I'm open to trying to maybe, you know get some of those conversations out like i feel like sometimes when we talk to like even like chaco you know he might come in with a certain belief but then like he'll be like yeah okay well that aspect of it's fair and etc but not everybody's like that you know what i mean like not everybody can be really open-minded well, no one yeah he's he's open-minded <laughs> people are those many yeah people. please don't let the negative comments get to you guys like on some real ish some of these people are sent from your ops i swear so forget about it ops yeah, I don't know what that means. Maybe opposition or something. These people are delusional. Not good for your mental to listen to. Yeah. Bro, it's been over six and a half years. I've been seeing everything. So nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing phases me anymore. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe in your theory. You can unite the fans with Vader too. Watch. Yo, let's Watch. do it. I saw I was talking let's about it. I saw someone being like, You're setting the bar a little high there, bud. So just just watch, dude. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. You'll see. Results will speak for themselves. The story will yeah. speak for itself. Stay winning, Josh, in theory. Don't listen to the NPCs. May the force be with you. Amen. I might get Liam to help me out, read a couple of soupies in a little bit. She, she needs a little break, so I might just bring him in. Yeah, sure. Uh, after those two absolute virgin comments <laughs> fuck against you, I had to drop some more support. Don't listen to uh, them, uh, Theory and Josh. These kind of people are just children. Don't take their immature comments personally. The world has lots of terrible people. Yeah, I I, you, I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you, Cal. I don't take it personally. I just get discouraged as like what it means. Like to me, it's just kind of like sad that that is where a lot of people are actually at. And so it's like, ugh, like I'd rather not. Yeah, you know, live in that uh, energy. So yeah, but also, you know, sometimes I don't feel like ignoring it. Sometimes I will be aggressive and combat you on it because it's a buildup of seeing so much of it over years. Yeah, and this is a lot of abuse sent towards me. Why? You know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up for myself. And it seems like nowadays, whenever someone stands up for themselves, it's like, uh, oh no, how could you? Mm -hmm. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, I know, dude. It's wild. It's like you're just supposed to sit there and take it. What? What are you guys? Yeah, I know. No, it's wild. That's not how. That's that's not how it works. That's yep. not how it works. Yeah. X A says if they don't bring in Donald Glover as Lando to do some scoundrel shit like smuggling Andor off the planet to save him, big missed opportunity, bro. That shit ain't happening. I'm gonna tell you right now, zero chance, zero chance. That's happening. Really. Dude, uh, no way. Like, Tony Gilroy, you think they're going to be like, hey, Tony, you know what would be cool if you put in Lando? He'd be like, who's Lando? <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. He'd he be, would, he would be like that. that. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Lando. <laughs> Josh, I have some issues with your takes, and I want to take theories invite to discuss with you civilly and calm, so let's talk. 
Totally yeah, down. Maybe. You want to do it next maybe, week? Maybe, dear man. Yeah, I'd be down for it next week. I can come in a little better mentally prepared you gotta, for yeah, it. Yeah, like I'm not going to do it without Josh being happy either. You know, like he's got to be like open to it. So maybe next week if he is and if he's not, all right, we'll figure it out. Come here, little buddy. Oh, it's a little baby. It's a little baby. You going to help me? You going to help that out? Thank you, Brian. Help me out, son. How do I deal with these... Crazy people, huh? What's up? You want to tell them? Tell them how you're feeling. You feeling okay? You going to be good? Ooh, your head. The microphone to his butt. <laughs> then you'll hear some... <laughs> Hi. What's up? It's Brian Kirsch. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's coming in. It's a dope he's got, yeah, he's got my uh, Vegeta hairline. Yeah. yeah. Very, Very excited, excited for Tails. You think Windu is a match for Dooku if they fight in the show? No. no. No, but it also would be interesting to see where they were personally at with it. I know Dooku was very revered, so it would be cool to kind of see that. Because Todd, it's misleading in my opinion. Andor was always niche. I mean, but then it's not really misleading, bro. You know what I mean? If it was always niche, then the the uh, the data is just supporting that. The only people get to theory, and even you, Josh, you guys are both quality people, and whoever comments saying negative is trolling or has issues. Well, I don't like to deem people as having issues if they are trying. I bet you I could probably convert 90% of the people that troll because they just have a, they're just probably following the crowd of people who dislike. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you almost like choked them out, man. Well, yeah. You got to watch the next support, though. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you you what? bro don't know Marvel plans. I don't know what that means. Uh much love to Nerd Theory Blinkers for y'all now. Favorite show to watch recently, and much love to George Lucas, big Bay Area native. Uh I like House of the Dragon quite a bit. That's my that's my favorite. Still haven't seen it. Oh, bro, it's so good. When you guys had the stream where you talked about the sequel fans, you said would you be willing to do something like that again? Would you do it again? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again, man. I'll yeah. I'll uh yeah, definitely. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, damn, I think that's just fun. Toxic positivity and negativity are working hand in hand to destroy this community and ultimately people's positive mental health. Shake man. Well, nothing yeah, can destroy um, your mental health unless you really let it. Uh, but that's at true. the same time, yeah, a lot of people aren't all that mentally strong, so it will things will destroy them because they'll just yep. get into their head about it. Well, plus, like part of it is like kind of disengaging a little bit too. You know what I mean? Which is like, for me, I was like, dude, I need to disengage for Andor. I just can't do Andor videos each week. Do you know what I mean? Because like, I knew I just, I wasn't going to be able to deal with what came from that, you know? Um, oh, so. I see. Yeah. What do you think, Liam? What do you think about Andor? Huh? What do you think, buddy? Hello, Liam. Yeah, do you see Theory? Do you see your Uncle Theory? Or you got some double chin action going on right now. Oh, yeah. He, dude, he's chunked up. We think he's probably 15 pounds plus, maybe headed towards 20. Yeah, he's going to be a big kid. He's going to be a big kid, but they do get this chunky, and then, like, they'll hit a growth spurt, and a lot of that fat will, like, Yeah, man. Up, it's baby but... fat. It's normal. Yeah. They need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine the effect it would have on the world if George replaced Kathy even only for a few years. Dude, it'd be wild, but like honestly, they don't even need all that. They just need him, they need a just signal base. change and just have him come back in some facet. Just yeah. be like, well, yo, feel like I feel like he is a little bit because Dave always consults with him. Right. And I think that that's probably why a lot of us sort of are more apt to trust Dave's vision and like what Dave has going on. But like I think that that would be a massive marketing thing for them if they could do that. If they could be like, yo, we have a new 10 year plan for Star Wars. George Lucas approved. Literally, that's all you got to say, dude. Right. You know? Fan Expo in San Fran with Star Wars, Cobra Kai, Sons of Anarchy, and more cast November 25th to 27th. Anyone going? I didn't know about this. You're all right, buddy. I'd be down. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. I definitely want to go to more things next year. I miss cons, dude. Yeah. I miss conventions. Hey, boys, and or sucks, and Tails is going to be dope. Hey, Josh, Elisa's vid was awesome the other day. Would love to see her takes on more future Marvel stuff. Hot D is great. Well, thank you, Miss Spiro. That's very sweet. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lisa did a video about she Hulk and how she hated it too. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you, you see, you got to do that as a, as a woman, you got to do that. If you're, if it's coming like a woman show, cause then they, no one can say anything. No, you hate dude. women. Well, I am. What are you hyped up for? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listening from Perth, Australia. Here's some money for your movie. Just watch your views of, uh, what is that? The Revenge of the Sith. Uh, why you like Rise it? Oh, Rise of Skywalker. Why you like it when it came out, but not, but now you hate it? Yeah, that's a good question. Because I, I had the same thing happen. Yeah. So I've explained this many times. Maybe you can go and watch some of those videos. But I'll briefly say here that when it came out, I was really happy with how they fixed Luke and as much as they could. He was still dead, but you know, he caught the saber. He said a Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. Mm -hmm. He said a lot of things that completely contradicted what Jake Skywalker said in episode eight. And then he raised the X-Wing with the force, mm -hmm. which I'd have made a fan fiction like years prior to that, where he raised the X-Wing with the force. Like I really appreciated all of that. And for me coming out of the theater, you know, after a few years of being so bummed out because they destroyed Luke, I was like, dude, thank you. This is amazing. Yeah. But then over time, as the rose colored glasses came off, so they say, I realized that that's not really what, like, Luke should have never been in that predicament in the first place. Yeah. You know, that he shouldn't have needed fixing. He shouldn't have needed changing. And whether you like the sequels or not, eight or nine or not, you, you can't really deny the fact that Luke did contradict so much of what he said from eight. Oh, and, yeah. And know, what we believe of his character. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. And some people may say, well, that's character development. It's like, well, that's that's a little strange. Don't you think? I mean, with all the production issues that they had going on, with all the cast and crew that we're talking about, all of the issues they had with the writing and the overall direction and how they were changing scripts here and there, left, right, and center, um, you have to take the shill glasses off a little bit and wonder, maybe this wasn't really all that thought out. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and I have a and similar so thing where... My, my conclusion can do. Like, I like Palpatine a lot, and even though this is, like, the wackest version of Palpatine, I was still like, yeah, Palpatine is doing his thing, it's so crazy. Yeah. Um, I liked some of the stuff with, like, Poe, Finn, and Rey, and it was, like, honestly, stuff that I had wanted from the other movies, where, like, you know, Finn's kind of, like, found himself, he's, like, force, you know, doing his force thing, Poe's, like, just a total douche, and him and Rey are, like, arguing i was like this is kind of a fun dynamic so there were aspects of it that i liked like exegol i think is really cool um yeah so there were things that i liked initially it's just it's it's that thing where like as the rose colored glasses come off you know it just became pretty apparent how sloppy it was yeah for me anyway dude kids are so funny Dude, yeah, he's he's, he's like, going he's like wild. That, but I can see him right now. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I know. Well, that's why I can tell that like she needed a little break because he's just going crazy, dude. You yeah. know what I mean? You're okay. Hey, you're okay. What's up? Hello. You all right? You all right? Yeah, you're okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just chill out. Just chill out, dude. Silly little boy, huh? Cute. Yeah, he's a kitty. If, if you, you want, want to be mad, mad, be mad. The KOTOR remake, dude, 100%. On top of that, Reva. Well, there you go, X-Ace. Thanks for rage-inducing us. That's very nice. Watch good TV icons on Earth, Star Wars, on Vice. <laughs> 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 also, great interview with Marsha Oh, cool. Marsha's in there. Marsha Skywalker or Marsha Lucas? Marsha Lucas. Let's see Let's both, see both your DBZ <laughs> figure collection. Uh, so I'm All right, I see you ones. Like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. No, I'll leave him. It's okay. I I mean, he's getting a little grumpy. I don't want them to have to deal with the... Uh... No, no, no. No, it's fine. Chad, you don't mind, right? I'll bring him back maybe in a little bit, but... No, he's okay, dude. Maybe yeah, he's so great. Disney wouldn't want to give up toy merch sales they make from Star Wars. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, but do we even know that they are actually making sales that are desirable for them? Not like in the 90s. Yeah, so like I understand yes. that, but I just think you think about those. <sighs> yeah, you think about those actual sales and it's like, I don't know. Yeah. 
I just don't know. Josh, you went to NJO already. The New Jedi Order? Yeah, all right. Josh was like, no. <laughs> just give and me a little time. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. Oh, sorry. No, not, sorry. NJO. Yeah, okay. I, th I thought you were saying uh, Our Republic. The Blind Jedi. Don't super chat on iPhone. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. do that shit, actually, because it'll take the 30% off of from the iPhone store, and then YouTube takes 30%. So don't do that. Really? Yeah, dude. Apple, bro. That's why they're worth three trillion because they're getting that money, dude. Hold on. It's crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me yeah, do a yeah, little, look it up. Look it up. Let me do a little calculation here. Dude, your mind's about to be blown. Mm -hmm. Justice for Liam, bring him back. I mean, we'll see, man. I mean, if his mom came in because she's feeling like he's hustling or whatever, you know, I'm not gonna tell her no. <clears throat> Their sales are all a lot of Grogu. Somebody in chat said, and I agree with that. It's true. Isn't that wild, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. That's so... That's robbed, bro. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yep. Let's see someone sends 100 bucks. YouTube, Apple takes 30% of that. And then YouTube would 70. take 30 yeah. Then YouTube takes 30% of that, which gives us yep. 49. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's wild, bro. And Apple's just like, <laughs> like they're just eating, bro. Like they don't give a <sighs> fuck. Yeah. I didn't know this. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Rumble but at the same better, time, like, better split. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. But I mean, what's the volume like? You know what I mean? Like I, I there bet... are uh I think over a hundred million active users on Rumble. Really? That's impressive, actually. I'm having every single one of my videos put on there as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Okay. So how is uh well you can tell me later how that's going because I'm interested, you know. It's still early phases right now, working on things. Uh, my network is figuring it out. Um, but they spoke with someone uh at Rumble who was very excited to have Star Wars Theory and Harry Potter Theory content on there. Hell yeah. Good for you, man. Uh, hey, will you please make a Bane animation? Also, I've chatted with the ones who made the KOTOR animation. Have you chatted with the KOTOR? I'm... No, I don't know who they are. No. Uh, oh. I mean, um, kind of, right? Because you... No? What was his name? C uh, cinematic? Was it Cinematic? Yeah, he's talking about like the cinematics for that. Was, no, was it Cinematic Captures or was it... Um... Oh, I... Anyways, um, haven't really chatted, but uh, I know who they are. We've exchanged comments before. Nice guys, hmm. from what I know. How come? Uh, sup, bro? It's been a while since I caught a live stream. Wishing theory luck on Vader episode two. Wishing Josh luck with the baby and everything in life. Love you guys and hoping for the best. Thanks, Jaden. Thank you. Very cool. Very sweet. But cool. Sup, bro? It's been a while since I caught a live stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your done. mods are letting too much things slide, to be honest. Yeah, whatever. Your passion for Star Wars and its fans is outstanding. No matter what, know the community you built is behind you. Thank you, Blind Jedi. Thank you. It's very positive, dude. It's nice to hear. Great leaders inspire greatness in others. Thank you, man. Thank you, my worthy apprentice. I'll donate a hundred dollars. Yeah. Josh takes off his shirt and goes bald. Only hell, no, nah, bro. 10 grand. Keeping that shit. Oh, God. Jesus. The unknown God. Forget that, dude. I just want to see Luke Vader, Stormtrooper, Slash, Alien Species, Rancors, Bounty Hunters, and Jabba's big mommy milkers. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Just joined in my opinion on Andor. If this doesn't feel like Star Wars, then Star Wars should feel more like this, in my opinion. So there are some people that that feel that way, and I've seen that opinion uh, shared around. I just couldn't agree, or I couldn't disagree more and I just hope that that doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah. F those good times and F that bitch. <laughs> Love you, Josh. Thanks for all the content. Positive vibes for you, brother. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Right. 
Very nice. Josh, do you think, wait, what? Do you still think Netflix isn't canon after SH? What's SH? Am I missing something? Oh, She-Hulk. Uh, <laughs> I see what you're saying. Um, it's like a soft reboot, which they shouldn't have done because it's forever going to be confusing. Um, but you can consider the Netflix Daredevil show canon if you want, or you don't. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. Andor is the best Star Wars since Rogue One. The writing is just stellar. Josh, you have to watch it. Character development needs time. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure that the characters are developed well over time. Um, that's not really my gripe with it. And I think it functionally good as a show. It's just like literally like just that's not Star Wars to me. Like that's not what that's just not Star Wars, bro. But anyway. Uh <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, that's awesome, Coria. Make nice, dude. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. That's good. Sixty-five, 65 a month, month member level. level. What perks do you get? Honestly, bro, right now I'm just so busy with doing everything to do with the film that if you guys want to donate ninety-nine cents or become a join member for ninety-nine cents, you get the same perks that everyone else gets. So really, I'm not trying to do it like a pay pay to win system. I know that would probably benefit me more. I'd probably make much more money, but um, I want to make it you know open to everyone pretty much. Like as long as you're a member at even 99 cents, you, you get everything. You get everything that everyone else will get. Why isn't it 66? Why is it 65? So order 66, wouldn't that make more sense? I, I don't get to choose how much. Oh, okay. YouTube has like different numbers and stuff. So, hmm. um, But I will be doing like... E I'm going to be doing live streams and stuff for all, all join members. You guys all get concept art. However, the only thing that's different is that I think the ones that pay fourteen ninety nine a month, those are the ones that get the Discord VIP because there were... You got to weed that out a little. Yeah, yeah. we just got to weed that out, dude. At 99 cents, people are just going to drop in there and... And troll. Troll, and I don't yeah. want that, you know? So yeah. it's... The VIP Discord is a nice place it's for people who want to be there. And uh, I don't want to have to, like, clean up... Because uh, I made it free for many before and then i put 99 cents on it it was just not good yeah ruined it for a lot of people j max says i hope andor gets better it's all right but in my opinion force unleashed story of the birth rebellion was better would love tales of the jedi to cover maul's arc and the giant kyber crystal arc yeah that would be interesting i don't know if they'll ever do that but yeah because didn't that have like revan a vision of revan and something yeah in that episode yeah found out i'm having a son can't wait to show him star wars 2 should i show him the sequels can you imagine shows from the sequel era, a old man Luke show? Um, show him whatever you want, man. You know, I think everyone should. Uh, if he's interested to watch the Disney stuff, by all means, show him. You know, the, the thing with the sequels is like people who just get into Star Wars and watch them all, they'll probably be like, oh, this is feeling kind of disjointed, but they probably won't be taken aback as much as uh, a lot of the older fans, such as myself, Josh, and the ones even before us that watched the original trilogy in theaters. Uh, were just dumbfounded when, mm -hmm. when they saw what they saw in theaters. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a fair way to say it. Chet said Josh looks like a cat in the hat. Also, would have donated five hundred dollars, but Josh doesn't pay me enough. I work sixteen hours a day in the lobby, and this is my week's money. Well, Susan, um, that's because you're a crickety old, smelly bitch. So get back to work. I'll see you tomorrow. Chances we get a scene of Ahsoka having a vision of her and Luke. For all of you on Spotify right now, I'm not going to continue that super <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Super huge fan of you guys. I'm planning on buying a it's... Halloween hat, but I have a question. Since you're also Canadian, is there any way I could possibly get that hat signed for display? Lots of love. So there's no way to get the hat signed for display unless I like have it physically and then ship it out to you i mean i'm getting a few of the orange ones myself but um typically they're not signed maybe you could sign a few and give them away on your big mega stream yeah you know what i mean like yeah, that could be kind of cool well i want to do something like that with my sabers but yeah do both well, i want to give those away during meetups and stuff hmm. okay yeah hey nick Kid looks good with the hat. Yeah, Bring back auto trucker hats, please. The old hats. Yeah. 
So those are the ones that are going to be coming back. What's auto? I'm not sure. <laughs> Fuck. My art does not suck is the best thing Josh can say about you. Haha. <laughs> is me wearing Daryl's vest. Oh, that's cool, man. From The Walking Dead because it makes uh, Walking Dead Viz and cosplay as Daryl for a con Ooh. once. That's sweet, dude. That's dope. Love yeah, that. That's super cool. I wonder if there are any Walking Dead channels. There must be. They cover the lore and stuff in comics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Walking Dead at one time was like one of the biggest shows on the planet. Not so much now, but uh, yeah, I assume. Going? I think it is still going technically. I think it's ending soon, though, but they're doing a spinoff show with a couple of them. With Norman Reedus, right? Yeah. I think Girl. so. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think we see the desolation of the Senate in Andor. We know it's gone by A New Hope, or is the timing off? Also, Josh, welcome back. Love the content. Can't wait for the new hat. Can't wait for the Vader film. Thanks, man. Thanks, CG. 87343. I don't know if we'll get the uh, Senate dissolving in the show. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, why not? There's another, like, six episodes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Disney missed them, but the Old Republic cinematics has some of the best duels and stories in a handful of minutes. And Disney should have referenced them for new movies and ideas. Probably because it's, like, old LucasArts people, and they're carrying along a common theme, and there probably isn't as much um, creative control there for newbies to come in. It's probably something quite established with uh, people that have been there for a while. So it runs along a consistent theme of stuff of how things should be perceived or done. Yeah. Probably isn't. It's, it's probably not as like anal. Yeah, true. Who wins? Zillow Beast versus Golog? Force Unleashed 2? Zillow Probably Beast. Zillow, yeah. Not watching Andor gave me time to check out and check up on a lot of new anime. What anime are y'all watching this season? Um, Bleach? Trying to get into Chainsaw Man. Um, There's a new... uh, Oh, Baki? Yeah, dude, Baki's sick. There's a new um, Gundam anime that's pretty cool. Like the Witch of something. Um, Yeah, there's some some hyped up stuff, man. I like... uh, I'm excited for Demon Slayer. Hmm. Let these dogs outside. Freaking dogs. I'm to the point where I'm not watching anything unless it's influenced by Filoni. Everything else is trash. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. What's up, Levi? How's it going, Josh? How's the boy doing? Josh, do you hear him? Hey, hey, hey. Do you hear him? Oh, he said, how's your boy doing? Oh, he's good, man. He's good. Uh, got a doctor's appointment later this week just to actually he's going to get his shots, which is good. Um doing a lot of he's like in a state of mental leap right now where he's like recognizing patterns and stuff um which is really really interesting he's starting to smile a lot when he sees us like if he's with his mom for a while and then like i see him he'll like be really smiley or vice versa so uh <clears throat> yeah he's good man you know it's definitely still challenging but um very rewarding too A rumor that Mando season three might not premiere till April and they might do a red carpet world premiere at celebration. Yep, yeah, dude, that's definitely what they're gonna do. That would be cool. Definitely. That would be a good look for them for sure. Definitely. 100%. Do you think Yoda was secretly terrified to face Anakin? And maybe a small reason he chose to fight the Emperor and Kenobi to fight Anakin? No. 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 He just didn't want Obi-Wan to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he knew he would kill Anakin, but Emperor would have washed Kenobi. Washed Kenobi. It would have been bad, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get that link, I'll be respectful. I swear. (laughs) Please bring back the green Order 66 trucker hats. I want to buy one for myself. They should be uh, available. I'm going to put one up right now. I'm going to try to put it up right now. Hold up. Somebody said Demon Slayer is mid. Yo, you crazy, bro. Demon Slayer is great. If the Hulk was a Sith, would he be the most powerful Sith ever with all his anger? Much love, boys. Here's my contribution of one two thousandth of a second. Um, Hulk doesn't need to be a Sith to probably be the most powerful. Like Hulk is strong as there is. That's his whole thing. But he's just got to be like really, really mad. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Hulk, I mean, Hulk with the Sith powers. That's interesting. I don't know how that would work. Because like I feel like in a Hulk rage, you don't even have the 
like ability to really use the force. Yeah. Because it still requires like a good bit of focus and shit. So Joey, the green hat is now pinned in the chat. Just click that link and you should be able to get it. Yeah. So I restocked and made sure they're all available. <laughs> Mark says Allison's feet are mid. I mean, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Prequels are my favorite. Always loved Star Wars content. All Star Wars content. Love Andor, love Kenobi and the other shows. I really have no issues, but that's just me. Dude, that's great. We hope to yeah. all be with you. Favorite Star Wars parody, Robot Chicken, Family Guy, Spaceballs, etc. Yeah, Robot Chicken ones are great, dude. How's the Lambda 3? It's chilling. Thanks. What's that badge? Oh. That's kind of cool. Looks like the, the Seeker, almost. Mm -hmm. The Nimbus 2000. Kind of cool. No. Sorry, not the Nimbus 2000. Um, Quidditch. Favorite Star Wars game, playing Fallen Order right now. I like Fallen Order. I really enjoy it. Fallen Order's all right. Fallen Order's all right. You see, Cartoon Network is not shut down. No, it's not shut down. They just gutted like 70 employees and streamlined it so that they could sell it off cheap in 2024. Hey, guys, keep up the great content. I just turned 21 recently. It's come with a lot of anxiety, hey. feelings, loss, and oh. behind others. Any Ooh. advice? Thank you for all that you do. Yeah, well, welcome to yeah. In comparison is also the thief of joy. I mean, I think no matter what, you could probably look out and find people that are doing something better than you. You could also conversely find people that are doing worse than you. But I think the best thing to do for your own mental health is to actually just compare yourself to yourself. Like, are you better than you were yesterday? Are you doing better than you were a week ago, a year ago, etc.? Um, and that... I think is a way healthier way to compare, but that's just me. Yeah, no, I agree with that. At the same time, I like to kind of compare myself to others and see what they're doing and be like, you know what? Like there's no reason why I can't be at that level or doing this and that and be inspired. So depends how you look at it. I think so, either of you F with Yu-Gi-Oh yanked out the old car box and doing some sort of sorting right now. I know Josh, likes mtg though it's an addiction i never, never played Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. yeah i never really played it was during my time but i, I never i, I like the uh show though you know there's that dude with like the brooklyn yeah. accent that was like yeah. yugi it's a blue eyes white drink <laughs> like that guy i think his name was joey or some shit yeah yeah it was funny. Digimon. digimon's lit dude yeah jch all right make snapbacks blacked out order 66 hats I'll work on it. Count Butthole translator from Portuguese. <laughs> That's my favorite super chat ever. Uh, Darth Mortifier says, hi, guys. Thanks for all you do. I appreciate both your content. You both are so passionate, and that really shows through in your work. Thanks, man. I'm super excited for Tales of the Jedi. I love you both. Yeah, let's get it, Tales. Me too. Me too. Let's get it. Me too, dude. You going to do a watch party for it? I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, like, I kind of want to also just light a few candles in the house, put on a bathrobe, you know, have some, some incense and just, you know, have a nice, fun, solitary Star Wars experience. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay, my question is, should I do a Tales of the Jedi? Because they both come out at the same time, right? And or and do Tales they really? I think so. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know which one I should focus on. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That's tough. I'd rather focus on Tales of the Jedi, to be honest. And then I, can I mean, for sure. Myself. For sure, but... Yeah, I don't know. Mm. You can marathon it. Fuck. <laughs> right? <sighs> yeah, but I mean... It's got to be one or the other. Because there's going to be a group of people that will watch it at midnight and then we'll watch Andor as well at midnight. So it's like yeah. i got to choose which one I want. Oh, Tales is the 28th? What's the 26th? Well, this guy, Brian Kerr, says Tales is on the 28th. If that's true, that what? solves all the problems. Yeah. Really? Tales of the 26th. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Brian. Ryan! 
Did they change it? Were my brother. Hmm. You were supposed to destroy the rumors, not join them. You guys know when it's released? Tales of the Jedi premieres October 26th on Disney Plus. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be changed yet by the apprentices. <laughs> Um. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Hey guys, have you seen Pixel Joker ninety five Kenobi re edit trailer? I have not. I actually did watch a little bit of that. It's pretty cool. Nice. Nice. He squished the uh, Grand Inquisitor's head to make him look more like the other one. Oh, cool. Just me who thought that the blaster sound effects didn't sound like they should. The E11 and DLT17 blasters had the same sound and sounded nothing like the iconic sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Why would oh, it? Dude, yeah, don't get me started on the sounds that, that Disney is using and stuff. They've definitely. Dude, I think I just figured it out, Theory. Maybe a lot of the people that are defending Andor are deaf. They don't hear. So therefore, they're not bothered by it. You know what I mean? Hey, guys, have you seen... Hell yeah. Read this one. I read Any lines, maybe. Uh, I agree with both your takes. I would even add the fact that Lucasfilm refuses to end with the logical ending of the Force coming to balance with Luke absolutely going ham on Ahsoka. I love y'all. Oh, my goodness. Urban Christian Christian told told George. Told George, let me direct the movie. That's what you hired me for. It's in the documentary. It's a famous moment. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And George didn't listen. No, and George was like, you can direct it. I'm just going to stand over here. I'm, yeah, he literally said, I had other people directing my movies, and it was a nightmare because I was literally... Yo, this, marketplace of, dude, this marketplace of... Dude, this marketplace of idea guy, I'm sick of this fucking He was guy. like, and I was literally in their way, and this is what I learned. And this is why he didn't do it with Disney, because he had learned with his own movies that he has to be hands-on. That he can't just let watch people do it because it has to be done a certain way. I'm so sick of this, dude. I'm like, just pedantic. What you guys like, make out? Shit posting. You guys just make out. God. You think any Sith, Bane, or Sidious could use force similar to Magneto's power when he escaped his cell in X Men 2? Yes. Doesn't Palpatine do a similar thing yes. in the end of Rise? I mean, I, I think you absolutely could do something like that. Absolutely. The OG3 and Mando is more of a space western, which is in line with my taste and or has had potential. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess so. Mm, I guess so. Just with the recent Thrawn books as movies. Oh, dude, the Thrawn books as movies would be lit. Shit's dope. <laughs> Wait, somebody said I'm right. If we have live action Star Wars show about politics, spy thriller stuff, give us a wacky show exploring the force and the wills. Something like Season six times twelve of Clone Wars with Yoda Wills would kill. That would kill. Hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be Thanks, neat. Thanks, Falker V. Thanks, Falks. Contentious take. Fixed price subscription models ruin content. Quality or quantity over quality, ad-based or pay-per-view would incentivize effort to put in these shows. I think there's something to that for sure. But I also think that, like, for instance, like Disney should like if they look at what's going on with the end or numbers like they should shit their pants because you got to understand that this is designed to keep people engaged so that they don't like consider their subscription fee not valuable. Right. So like as it currently stands right now, um, is there even a reason for me to have Disney plus? No. But the reason I keep the subscription is because I'm like, OK, but yo, Secret Invasion, Tales of the Jedi, these things that are coming down the pipe. Right. So like they even by the incentives they currently have should be making better shit. So like I hear what he's saying, but like, honestly, they're already incentivized to put better shit out. And so they should change it. Ads would be interesting if they had if they made it free and did it based on. Uh, well, they're going to do that as well. Actually, they're going to do that. Performance then. Yeah, well, Netflix is doing that, and so is Disney Plus. Like Disney Plus will have a a, a tier like that. Well, good to see you guys live. How are you guys doing? We're good, Joshua. How are you doing? Doing well, man. Yeah, doing well. 
Posted a short that got triple the views within an hour than a vid did from last week. This is whack. Yeah, dude, YouTube has destroyed everything for creators by focusing on their stupid ass shorts. Look, I think shorts can be good, but I also think that the algorithmic push that shorts are getting is absurd. absurd. And I think that like TikTok, I mean, I think TikTok and shorts are both very similar in like the fact that it's usually very trash content. I don't even know if I'd call it content most of the time, but to be honest, I have seen some shorts where I'm like, yo, that's incredible. Right. Mm. And I think that YouTube is actually changing shorts currently. And I think it's going to end up being much better than what TikTok has to offer. But uh, yeah, dude, that's true. But it's also, look, here's the reality. Having big, you having really good YouTube videos that absolutely crush on the platform is unlike what I think any other content space can do for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have a TikTok video hit 10 million views and it will not affect your career or tra your trajectory in any way, shape, or form. But if you get a big YouTube video to absolutely crush and pop off for you, it can really change things for you. So, I still think it's a dragon worth chasing. But it is different. You know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. different now. It is. It is. I mean, think about it. How much time and effort do you have to put into a long-form video yeah. than you have to put into a short? No, it's... I can pop out, I can pop yeah. out shorts within 30 minutes. These fan fictions I used to make would take sometimes a full day. Yeah. A full freaking day. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely it's different. different. It's different content. And it, it's content that's made for swiping fast. Okay, I'm bored of this. I'm bored of this. I'm bored of this. I'm bored. You could watch in the span of an hour, maybe what, a hundred shorts, let's say. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. skipping through a bunch. Uh, on YouTube, how many videos can you watch in an hour? Yeah. 10? Yeah. Plus the way the recommended works via shorts is like you are almost guaranteed to get to bullshit content even if you start on something decent yeah because the next thing up is actually not trying to fulfill you it's just trying to get you to watch it yeah so it's gonna throw all this stupid shit at you it's all um, short intention span and just yeah more and yeah. more and more, more quick it's fast, like dopamine fast, hit fast, dopamine fast. hit dopamine hit. Quicker. yeah, yeah mm -hmm. bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. stupid if count dooku were to be brought back at the live action would you rather have a cgi sir christopher lee like they did Tarkin and Luke, or a recast? Um, CGI. Yeah, I'd say CGI. Maybe you could get a ca uh, somebody that can be like sort of the body, like what they did with like young Luke, and you combine it with the old Luke performance. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just want it to look really good. I honestly don't care how they get there. Yeah. <clears throat> You guys need to watch Arcane, best adaptation of a video game in history, in my opinion. It's really that good. Please watch it. I'm sending 50 to make you guys watch it. Thank Thanks, you for probably. all that you do. Well, Runeblade, I've already watched it, and I absolutely loved it. I have not so, yeah. watched it. But oh, it's so good, bro. It is. I, I, need, I need more time in my life. Yeah, it, dude, just make some time for, like, the first couple episodes and see where you're at, because it is yeah. very good. Yeah. Poopsicle. Poopsicle. Okay. Hey, guys, welcome back, Josh. No one picked up on it, but Luke... Lucan cryptically, oh, Luthan cryptically talks about the forced Andor in episode three when they're in the workshop. Yeah, cryptic, what? No, fair enough. Okay. Thanks, Poopsicles. Simply Vic. your guys' perspective, even though I find myself disagreeing with you guys half the time. Can't wait for Vader too. Much love, guys. Yeah, man, that's cool. Yo, we love you. Thanks, man. Understand. Yeah, we, we support everyone who disagrees. We support everyone who agrees. We support everyone who's just chilling with us. Mm -hmm. time to time. Even if you just pop in for five minutes. And you peace out or two minutes or 30 seconds. We're glad to have you. We're lucky to have you. I mean, you. just think about like the energy, the difference in this energy where he's literally just literally like, first of all, supporting with money, but also supporting with like his vibes where he's literally like, I appreciate your guys' perspective, even though I disagree with you half the time. Yeah, dude. I like, love you know that. what I mean? Like that's like, and then other people are like, but you technically said this, which means that. So fuck you. Or it's, it's like, like dudes dude. just shit on you the whole time and like yeah. never donate Ugh. nothing. They just drop in and, and troll and then they like what? And they don't take time to actually ever really watch any video that you put out. Mm -hmm. They just follow a consensus of people who are in their own heads mm -hmm. about you. Probably a bad idea, but maybe you could put channel members in Vader episode two credits. It might be an incentive for more people to join. Love you guys. Yeah, is that something you would all want? I think that's a good idea, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I could do that. I think that's a good ass idea, bro. Pretty cool. This should have followed Finn's story, not Ray's. Hundred percent. I just wish we could just wish we could a show featuring a story about the old republic or the Jedi Civil Wars, but Andor is certainly the best Disney Plus has provided in absence of Mando. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, I understand why you feel that way. I, I, I get it. It's a nicely shot show, but I'm just repeating myself at this point. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. flying squirrels, though, that's kind of funny. Super, Super late, late to the stream. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Everybody's cool? good, man. To me, Star Wars is at its best when there is good versus evil. That's totally lacking in Andor. I'm actually sympathetic to the Empire in this show. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. Hey guys, glad you're back, Josh. Hey, thanks, Cody. Appreciate the love, man. Thanks, Cody. Just joined the live. No idea what you've been talking about, but I want to drop this ten dollar holla. Love both your channels. May the force be with you. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. How do you feel about the Yuzon Vong War? Would you think it would have saved the sequels if they were added as a third surprise faction? Yeah, that'd be sick. I mean, it would have so been cool. interesting. Would have been bold. Yeah, having a bigger power. Yeah. It would have been fun. Where does hard sci-fi fall within Star Wars then? Star Wars content like Rome, where some uh, tune out. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't think Star Wars is sci-fi, dude. Like, if you think about it, some of the technology they're using in Star Wars is, like, absurdly outdated. Like, it doesn't make sense that they can literally travel through hyperspace and yet they have to ping like these signals they jam radar like there's all these aspects of it that like when you really think about it from like a logistical perspective don't make any fucking sense but it's fantasy it's not about the technology it's about the fantasy the themes that that's that's what star wars is star trek has like consistent science fiction you know tech and all this different stuff like that that's not star wars No more it says if y'all want to watch a cool anime show, check out Spy X Family. My housemates and I have been checking on it every week. It's a dope show. Spy X, huh? Never heard of it. I have to check it out. So we're only open minded if we agree with your argument. No, I don't know where you got that from, but you are open minded if you accept other people's opinions as being different. Yeah. That's what yeah. open minded is. You don't have to agree with it, you just recognize that that's it's there. Mm-hmm. Andor would have been fine as a comic, probably even better. Keep those stories on paper and reserve the show and movie spots for anything involving the Force of the Jedi. <clears throat> I think that's fair, actually. I'm going to let these dogs in. Or it's like constant in and out with the dogs. I know, dude. Come on. George's control output of Star Wars was the Republic. <laughs> Disney's control output is the Galactic Empire. Balance will be restored as it was in Return of the Jedi. Well, perhaps. Oh. I like that they're... I like that we're focusing on the Empire. I like it. I think it's neat. It's different. Somewhere. Can't have Star Wars be Star Wars without its soul. That was George. I'm looking forward to your fan film. I'm a bigger Marvel fan now, but you two keep me interested. Right now. Hey, Theory Mate. So are you talking with fans now, like with Star Wars and stuff? Also, have you noticed you look like Tyler One? Tyler One's funny, dude. He's funny. He's funny. Yeah, I'm always I'm always talking to I've been talking to Star Wars fans since I was a kid. Andor feels like it belongs in a fine art museum where only monocle wearing proper jazz look and admire it. Whereas Lucas Star Wars is from a Lego store. <laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Hey, King, King Liam. Liam. Hey, nice. Thanks. Yeah, King Liam's pretty cute, isn't he? I like him. I think he's pretty cute. Yoda says Disney Star Wars is lacking. The warm, tight, complex, rich, romanticized, world-building story that thrills in both mystery, action, and spirituality. We love characters that idolize beyond our voice abilities within reality. Amen. And also, there are a few uh, commas in that sentence that don't actually make sense. A but women. I'm... Oh, yikes. I'm going to have to kennel these dogs up. I'll be right back. This whole house is falling apart. 
I would watch a four-hour nerd theory of y'all going hard down memory lane, geeking out about what your life was like when Revenge of the Sith came out. Who did you see it with? What toys did you play with? Etc. Happy Star Wars memories. Oh man, that'd be a fun trip down memory lane. I saw it with my dad, and um, I remember when it came out on DVD. I had that like immediately, and I would like slow down the movie during fight scenes, and I would practice the choreography over and over and over again um with like a stick like a broom handle um and then when i got my first force fx lightsaber which was like a huge deal i got it for christmas and uh that was like freaking game over man i went and i made a um handmade a anakin glove like i sewed it all together with uh whatever um what, 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 what does it put in stuffed animals like stuffing and like i used silver duct tape as like the, the buckles and stuff it was it was wild but yeah it's a good time a lot of good times thought i was anakin skywalker uh thinking about starting a channel around all legends uni and chronological books comics tv vgs everything on wikipedia list for media advice um just get lost in the content and the enjoyment of making your videos and detach yourself from views detach yourself from money and you will have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in you, Theory. If I hit the lotto, I'd give you what you need for episode two and three. Best of luck, bud. Really nice of you. Thank you, Star Wars Dog. That is very nice. But why do you have to say it like that, you know? What? <laughs> That's a stupid joke. Papa Josh, Papa Joshing. Ah, uh, yeah, it was Papa Joshing. About to pop a Josh all over those pups and beat him up. Like she just got Liam asleep and the dogs went in there and were like, Rawr! damn it. Glad Nerd Theory is back to Josh's point about how much money Disney is spending on these shows. I want Star Wars movies. Where are the freaking movies? Mando is cool. Ahsoka prob will be too, but I want a damn movie. I mean, I agree with you. And I, bro, they're probably nervous AF to put a movie out. Like, because they can't hide that. Like, they can't hide that box office growth. You know what I mean? Like, even the numbers and stuff. Like, I showed you all that chart. A lot of you guys are probably like, I don't believe it. It's fake news. But you wouldn't be able to deny the box office, right? Yeah. I feel like they're nervous, dude. What's up, Elendil? That's we a love you crazy too. picture. For Vader episode 2, is Mace Windu going to use some dark side powers like Force Lightning? No. No. This will be... Uh, treading along that would be kind of dope though canon yeah it'd be cool but it just wouldn't be mace windu it'd be mm -hmm. fan fictiony what does the baby think about luke soka oh he's all about it dude all about it you see the freaking fan art he draws it's gross yeah what's up mitch thanks it man mitch. it was work yeah it was that work it's always ah oh, man i used to love getting off work no no feeling like it in my opinion, Star Wars shouldn't be a monolith. The MCU can do different scales, tones, and genres, mostly with well reception. Why can't Star Wars push forward and attempt the same? I think there's a difference between trying different scales, tones, and genres and not nailing the spirit of what Star Wars is. And I do think, though, that some people are like, oh, man, it should just be, or you just want it to be, like, restricted or, like, you just want it to be this. And it's like, not really, but also, like, sure, kind of. Because I think there's a balance where it's like if you stray too far, it's not Star Wars anymore. But you, I think like a very good creative sort of plays within those lines where they're like, how do I put a new twist on an old lemon? Right. You know what I mean? But like real talk, like, dude, got, like, do you not want it to be like Star Wars? Like, again, I don't I don't understand where some people are just like, I want Star Wars to expand. And it's like your idea of that expanding is doing a prequel of a prequel of a character we know that dies. That shit ain't expanding at all, dude. Like, I don't uh, know. I, I just I, don't see yeah, that as expansion. I think, I think it's expanding quite a bit. I mean, it, the show is covering a time that we haven't really gone into and explored all that much. We need a vessel to do that. So instead of creating a new character, they'll be like, let's just cover Andor. He's dead anyways. So. I'm down with that. I think it's cool. So you think that this is a time period that they've never really explored in Star Wars? 
No, in Disney Star Wars. Hmm. They got to make something, right? So. Yeah. Is there a massive lack of logic, logic nuance, attention, to detail, many of the pro and or arguments. I like the show, but stats are stats. Yeah, I agree. I agree. APA is a member. Mm -hmm. theory what link resource to use for the manga i'm trying to read that shit too unless you bought all volumes well then i'm screwed also josh islam winning you sorry about the ufc hell nah bro islam's gonna get destroyed um, i i got it for it's called viz viz media viz.com or something hmm. yeah it's like a paid subscription and you um you get the yeah Everyone's so butthurt over Disney Star Wars. My old ass still being angry since 1997 over the special editions. Give me the real OT. Much love. <laughs> I think they offer the real OT. Oh, no, they don't. No, nah, there's no there's way to get it. That I bought. No. Yeah, I if you've it. got. Well, yeah, it's very rare, but there's no way to like buy it now. You'd have to buy an old version of it. No, no, no. No, the DVDs. You can find it. So the bonus features. Right, on the but DVDs that's old. Can... Nobody sells DVDs anymore, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Those are old. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like Disney is never going to create something with those versions of the movies, is what I mean. No. How do you feel about Jar Jar making a cameo in a future Star Wars series? Yeah, cool. I'm all about it. Yeah. All about it. Yeah. In The Empire Strikes Back, when Yoda is speaking to Force Ghost Ben in Yoda's hut, Yoda says he has watched Luke for a long time. How did Yoda watch Luke growing up? Through the Force. When did he say this? He does say that. He does say that. I remember the moment. Anyways, oh, have I watched course. this one? Oh, oh have I watched his mind on where he was going? Is it the same Levi theory smashed on a stream? Who's who's? Levi? I don't know who you're referring to, but yes. There's no Levi in here. I didn't think so, my worthy apprentice. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, no. Look at the lightsaber pee, -pee. I think they should include modern-day politics references more often in Star Wars, such as representations of Trump, Pelosi, Hillary, etc. Dude. Um, I think they should not. Well, no, but like, here's the thing. If you look at... Just troll. Just troll. Exactly. Yeah. If you look at his picture, and then you look at what he says, it's just obviously a troll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the lightsaber PP guy is not going to come in and be like, I think they should do this and like actually mean it. Uh, past theory. Don't super chat on Apple. Take a cut. Present theory. They what? <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I say that? Don't super chat on Apple. Did I say that? Well, no, somebody you said passed? that uh, in the stream. I don't know that you've actually said that, but yeah. I, if I did, I don't remember that they actually take a cut and then YouTube takes a cut. That's wild. Get him out. The OG Green 66 trucker hat still isn't coming up. Really? What the buttholes, bro? Damn, did they sell out already? I know it comes up for me. Yeah, comes up for me. Ding. Right there. Hell yeah. Right there. Wait, hold on. Let me okay, hold up. Let me try to see if it's live or not. Maybe that could be the problem. Uh, seems to be. Yeah, because you can order one. So. Yeah. Thank you, Victor. It's a nice looking fish. Oh, Victor. That's a nice looking fish. DVDs. <laughs> Josh, are you Mephisto? 100%. Josh, Mephisto. Have you guys seen the Chucky yeah. series on sci fi? I haven't seen it. I've heard that's actually really good, though. People have said that. Tim right. Kenobi, no message, but thanks, man. Oh. 
Either of you guys, I think you guys play them on it. Yeah. Oh shit, that shit drops this week. Nice. Okay. Week. I think it's next week. I think it's next week too. Yeah. Where is it this? No, it's not this week. Three, three bullet train, two Elvis, one Top Gun. Oh, favorite movies of the year. Hmm. I don't even. Yeah, know. Elvis was good. I haven't seen it. I remember I saw it in theaters. Uh, me equals Larry Strong, Werewolf by Night, Ain't Allison's Feet. Hmm. I don't know exactly what this means, but right on. <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, awesome, bro. Kristen, Kristen Cole is a bee. A bee. Yeah, that? he's something. Just a character yeah. in Hot D. Got a poo. I'm going to pause and two times speed till I catch up. Well, I hope the poo was good. Dude, Liam the other day. I, was Jesus I, took, uh, I took his diaper off, and before I could get the other one on, it was like soft serve ice cream poop just all yeah. over the He's just like, it? Damn, hell no. Nah. But oh, it stinks. Uh, for me, Andrew feels like a breath of fresh air. I love smaller stories instead of a galaxy in peril story. I love you guys and your support. Hey, that, dude, or, that's awesome. I'm glad you like it. I don't want you to not like it. I just think that, hey, man, you like this one. Did you like Mando? Because if you did and more people liked it, it probably created more of a fun fan experience. So I think we should do more of that. Hey, green should I'm be saying. green hat should be. I mean, it was always public, but I just switched it to private and then public again. So hopefully, it's good to go. Why don't they just make Tales of a Jedi a movie? I think it's terrible that they force us to watch it in shorts now. I have to wait a whole week for twelve minute episodes. No, no, they're dropping it all at once. Yeah, it's a bingeable thing, man. All at once. It's hard to keep up since they drastically stop being. F- faithful to comics my vids focus on side-by-side comparisons i don't know what i'll do content wise with the show ending in five weeks they want a big as marvel but fail to see how oh you just gotta you know theorize and come up with stuff and have fun with it and then wait till the next show comes out yeah Pretty been fun. playing gta and watching the stream all night love the discourse i lean to the same side as josh mondays are for nerd theory and good vibes hey thanks mike i appreciate That's that man post. Love you guys. Welcome back, Josh. Do you guys think Andor will? But Josh didn't go anywhere. He was sick last week. Yeah, I was like, like dude, I was, I, I actually kind of still don't feel that great. But last week, like, it was weird. Like, I don't think it was the Rona or anything, but like, dude, I was just so exhausted. I was going to, to bed at like 8 p.m. at night, dude. It was wild. I would watch a four hour nerd theory of y'all going hard down memory lane. Geeking about what your life was like when Revenge of the Sith came out. Who did you see it with? What toys did you play? I think you sent that twice, Elijah, right? You might have. Yeah, I dressed up. I uh, went with one of my very good high school friends. I dressed up as a Sith. He dressed up as a Jedi. We had the little lightsabers. It was dope. Um, loved the movie. Went back. Put on uh, A New Hope. Fell asleep after about 10 minutes into it. But uh, it was incredible. It was a very, very fun night. Yeah, and like I said a few minutes ago, I saw it with my dad, and it was awesome. Yeah, I loved it. Mace Windu used Shatterpoint Invader Episode 2? Guess we'll just have to find out, Eric. When there is no Grand Moff Tarkin to say, Valen, release them. Search this up and watch the first video from 22. Could Vader do this? Looks Mm. okay. Looks okay, thanks. My pink quota. Game house. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Well, thanks for supporting Hell, yeah. breast cancer and um, well, breast cancer researchers to say, and uh, and me. The channel. Hell, and you yeah. made a dope hat out of it. Thanks. Great show, fellas. What's up, Dirt Wizard? Bro, is that a real? What up? What's up? No, it's not real. Yeah. This is not a. No way. It's a real beard. Is that a? If that is a real beard, it is lavish. No, just look. Look at it, dude. No, I know. It's weird looking. Looks, looks like one like, of my uh, painted minis or something. Yeah, it looks like one of those ones that you hang on your face. What if Porkins showed up in Andor and farted? <laughs> Good continuity. That one got me, man. What's up, guys? Have you seen I've Halloween seen 10? I have not seen it. I haven't, no. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. No, I'm going to go see Black Adam, though. Are you going to see Black Adam? When's it out? This Thursday or Friday? Uh, maybe. I actually spent more time making a short trying to trim said video to fit the 60 second format. Well, yeah, that can happen. I'm not saying you can't spend time on a short, but for the most part, it's pretty low effort content. Was Halloween ends good chat? You guys see it? Dude, I've heard 
buttholes, bro. No. People were like, they use reverse shadow on point it on Windy. Hard. Um, you're going to have to wait and see my version. You'll, you'll, you'll see what happens. Yeah, Elijah. For everyone, Filoni could be Kevin Feige if Luke Soma allowed him to be. I'm still here, but just less engaged as time goes by. Yeah, yeah no. I get you, Josh. I, and look, we all want it to get better, man. You know, except for those people that are like, it's fine. And everyone thinks it's not sucks. But <laughs> most of us are like, <laughs> uh, they do sound like that. It's fine. It, it, you're just stupid. You don't even. You're just, you're just stupid. You're just, toxic, you're just toxic Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. You need to just die. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> you guys said it feels like you guys are gatekeeping Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with that, us gatekeepers are going to be ending the stream. We uh, we appreciate you. If you don't like Star Wars, then uh, too bad. We're gonna. Hey, much love to y'all. Yeah. I know a lot of y'all are real sweet, real nice, and real real. So I'm not talking about you when I tell all the other people to fuck off. So just you know, you out there. I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. <sighs> Kill him. Kill him now. Oh, man. Sometimes the buttholes you gotta deal with online is just... I know. Don't make me kill you. Uh, it's just in another yeah. rule. I can't watch anymore. Uh, Damn! Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, shit. So uncivilized. Oh! Uh. Well, we love you guys. Um <laughs> I just <see> someone <sighs> Did I read the last comment. What is it? What does it say? No. Your poopy bottle? I'm not gonna read it. All right. Well we, we love you guys. Um make sure to check me out on Spotify for new uploads make sure to check out josh's channel at the den of nerds and his live stream channel the den of nerds live buy some merch if you want to support uh the breast cancer edition of the hats is available until the end of the month and 50 percent of the proceeds will be given towards breast cancer charity and the other 50 will go to vader episode two aka my pocket i'm gonna do a live stream soon where uh we just do like a consistent live stream like every other day or every week where um we just fund for all the projects I'm trying to do here on the channel, if you know what I'm trying to say. And with that, we love you guys, and we'll catch you later. Once again, you've proved, if you'll excuse me.